<laughs> Greetings, everybody in the Twitch stream. This is Ren Diggited Dow coming at you pretty early today. And man, am I excited for today's stream because today I've got a whole <laughs> bunch of cyber dogs to come and help me build the cyber dog server hub. I'm going to introduce you guys to all of them, man. It is going to be absolutely awesome. I hope you guys are having a really cool day today. I know that some of you guys are probably on holiday right now on school vacation. Some of you are probably at work. You probably should be working, you bastards, but it's okay. You can hang out with us. Uh, it's totally cool. We're going to be taking it very easy today, guys. Just relaxing, playing some Minecraft together, uh, and it is going to be absolutely freaking sweet. You guys can already see that some of the cyber dogs are cracking on with trying to fix the butthole in, um, the, in the Nether Portal Temple. Apparently, it is completely wrecked. But guys, let me introduce you to some of the cyber dog builders that have joined us for today, why don't we User start entered your with channel. Mud Dog? What is going on, Mud Dog? Hello, I'm good. Red Dog, how are you? Very well, thank you, my friend. It looks like we've just had someone else join us on Teamspeak. Is that who's that? Uh, I have no idea. No idea. Okay, interesting. Bill's Red Dog. I have no idea. Is that uh, is that Hitchishu, Iskull trolling is. us? Is that Iskull trolling us right now? It could Probably. Be. Uh, we, we not, haven't got, User uh, disconnected from your channel. Shoe or whatever. Oh, or not. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> don't know who that was, but, uh, you know, somehow we managed to get our password right, so that's kind of, that's User kind of, uh, entered your that's channel. a bit scary. Uh, um, they're back. Oh, Kijushi. Oh, it's Kijushi. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Okay, awesome. Anyway, so we've said hello to Mud Dog. Next up, guys, we have got Hijacks. Um, that's not good. Uh -oh. What's up? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> technical difficulties. What happened? We got technical difficulties right now. Okay, we're back. We're back. Uh, All right. That's <laughs> Hi, hilarious. Hi, Jax. Why don't you say hello to everybody Hi. on the screen? Uh, Hi, Cyberdogs. Hi. Awesome, Kajushi. You've just joined us. A little bit late there, dude. What? What have you been doing? Okay. It looks like Kajushi's got a few mic problems over there. See, this is why you've got to come to the stream 30 minutes before so you can sort out everything, man. Kajushi. I think it's like too early for the morning. Freaking stream <laughs> streaming noob, man. That's what you are. <laughs> it's all good, though, man. It's all good. Really good to have you. We also have Mastermind DC. What is cracking, my friend? Say hello to everybody on the stream. Hello, everyone. How's it going? I've never checked out. Awesome. Okay. Uh, next up, we got Madigan's admin of dogcraft.net and admin of this a beautiful server, the man responsible for what you see today. Uh, wouldn't have been possible without it. Why don't you say hello, Madigan's all the way from Australia. Hello. Just talk me up a bit next time. <laughs> We've also got Vicmans on the server too. Hello, Vicmans. What is going down? Hello, everyone. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. All right, guys. Well, before we get cracking on uh, what we are doing here, let me say hello to some of the peeps in the stream also. Looks like we've got quite a few people that have joined us, which is really, really awesome. I hope you guys are having a sweet day. Let's say hello to the doodler, to reload Psy, freaking beta slab. Hey, someone, someone made a Twitch account called the freaking beta slab. That is oh, the God. best Twitch account name ever. That's yeah, amazing. I saw that when I was doing the test. <laughs> That's awesome. That's uh. awesome. Yeah, Minecraft 16, what's cracking? The, the, uh, the Red, Red Ace 29, what is happening? Walty83, welcome to the stream. We've also got a little bit of, I think that's everyone that I can see on the chat so far. Uh, but guys, welcome to the stream. Looks like we got 15 viewers so far, which is excellent. Uh, send them tweets out, guys. Let's get some more Cyberdogs watching the stream. And, and we're going to be working on improving the Cyberdog server hub, which is basically what we are looking at right now. Now, guys, we got a, we got some serious plans for today, right? And the way that we're going to be doing this, because there's quite a few of us uh, on the server right now, I'm going to be setting a task to each of our Cyberdog builders, okay? And they're going to be focusing on that task during this session. And that is going to ensure that, you know, everything that needs to get done gets done uh, in a sort of timely and organized fashion. You know, rather than, than all of us just following each other around and stuff. Um, so I think that's going to be really good. I can hear someone's keyboard is really loud. So that's mud. Okay, MD, it's all if you could uh, maybe do uh, tap to speak or something. Your your keyboard is... <laughs> sounds like a discotheque up in here, man. 
but I'm going to be assigning a task to each of the Cyberdog builders at, during this stream. My bad. And no worries, <laughs> no worries. And that is, I think that's going to help us to actually uh, actually get through this pretty quick. Now, some of the guys are going to be using World Edit, I think it's called, to do some of the terraforming, which is going to be really cool to watch. And uh, some of the other guys are just going to be doing some general maintenance around here also. So hopefully, uh, by the end of this, in the next couple of hours, we will have this server looking a beautiful, or at least at a point where we can start thinking about going public. Right, guys? I hope so. Everybody. I hope. Yeah. All right, sweet. No. All right, we've got some more folks in the stream. Let's say hello to Benny Wiz and Tree Power Activate. What is cracking? And Agario Swag, welcome to the stream. All right, guys, let's all gather. Right, oh. let's all gather at uh, on Granny Dog's monument. Take us, take a space on a step on Granny Dog's monument, and we will talk about what we're going to be working today. Oh, hello there, Jack. Hello, what's going on? Hello. Oh, hi there, MD. What's going on? Uh, you know, same old, Vic, same old. Vicman's dude. You've had way too much Red Bull today, man. You're floating. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> What's going on? Dude, Vickmans, you got red eyes, dude. Yeah, I know. It's our new Diablo. Have Didn't get a lot eating, of sleep. <laughs> have you been eating roasted Diablo for lunch? I don't know what Sandy gave me. <laughs> oh, uh, so blame Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, is that everybody? Oh, there's a there's a Beatrice down there. Okay, no, we don't want her anywhere near her. Is that everyone? One, two, three, four, five. Is that five? Wait, we're missing somebody, aren't we? Our mastermind's down there. Hey, what's cracking? Hey. Where's Hello. Kitch, man? Uh, uh, he's trying to get on the server. server. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Sweet. Okay, so this is pretty much everybody we got right here on Granny Dog's Monument. And let's start talking about what we're going to be doing. We're going to start with hijacks. I've put you on um, Nether Portal Temple duty right yeah yeah okay cool so what are you thinking man what are you thinking what are you going to be working on there i think i'm going to work on the outside and i'm going to make like a corruption thing so it looks like it broke down and the nether started corrupting the world oh my think. goodness that yeah. sounds so awesome so it's Thank like the, the corruption has sort of like flowed out of the portal and started to infect the world around it yeah oh, yeah that sounds amazing dude okay and you're gonna fix the butthole too right we'll yeah yeah I'm, I'm gonna do my very best for that Okay, awesome. We're going to also have to work on the entrance into the Nether Portal Temple too, because uh, we don't have that awesome tunnel that we have in our survival world. So no. sort of think about what to do that. Okay, so that's sweet. Um, Mastermind, you are on road duty, right, my friend? Where are you at? There yes, you uh, road duty, yeah. Awesome. So what are you thinking, man? You're going to be building a road from Granny Dog's Monument to the Cyber Dog Monument over there? Yep. And uh -huh. what, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to make it as natural looking as I can to try to fit the jungle theme and yeah beautiful beautiful so we're going to have these nice natural roads in between the different places and you've got a road to go from the granny dog's monument to the cyber dog monument then from the cyber dog monument to griswold family apartments and the, the uh the, the granny dog's Typical monument oh Australian. no i just busted a block My oh, I ran into um, i'm sorry granny please <laughs> forgive me i'm sorry <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, and another road running from Granny Dog's Monument to the Nether Portal Temple over there. Okay, so that's quite a lot of work for you to do over there. Mud Dog, we have put you on. You're on one of the islands, aren't you? What are you working on? I am working on Granny Dog's Monument over there. Uh, probably won't take me too long because I'm going to be using World Edit. So. Granny Dog's Monument? Uh, there's, the what? Mama Dog's Greenhouse. Oh, yeah, Sorry. yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're working Absolutely on Mama Dog's, the Mama Dog Greenhouse Island over there, right? Making it look like it fits into the environment nice and naturally. Okay, that is Indeed. sweet. Madigans, you are on cleanup duty, right? You're running yes. around this place, uh, yep. killing anything that looks looks wrong, right? Yes. I'm starting with the apartments, because they look like balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the apartments are looking absolutely terrible right now. Okay, awesome. Well, guys, I think we all have our orders. Let's head forth, make this... I don't have my orders yet. Oh. Don't you? Oh, I, <laughs> I'm sure I gave you an order. I'm sure I gave you orders, Vickmans. Didn't I give you graveyard island duty? Oh, okay. oh yes. Oh, yes. Vickmans, where you at, man? Where you at? Flying again. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so, there you are. <laughs> so, I think that uh, I think that the graveyard suits you quite nicely with your evil ass <laughs> red eyes. So, you're going to be working on terraforming the land around the graveyard, right? Okay. Making it look like it sort of comes naturally out of the ocean and fixing up anything that looks ugly around there, right? Awesome. I think that's everyone. Well, we still got Kid. Oh, there's Kidge. Uh, yes, I, I believe I need something to do. Otherwise hey, Kidge, what's cracking? 
Hello. Um, I apologize for earlier. I, I thought we were starting later. Uh, that's, that's okay. That's okay. Quite that's a big problem. misunderstanding on my part. But <laughs> no problem. And welcome to the stream. Welcome to the server. Um, guys, Thank you very much. go forth and do what you must. I'm going to... Cage, come with me, man. Let's see if we can find something uh, for you to do around here. Uh, there is still Teacher's quite a lot of stuff to do, actually, I think. Um, you know what? Madigans, how is the land around... Uh, around Grizzle family apartments. Messing at the back. Okay. Yeah, there's no land at the back, so... Okay, let's have a look at the, uh, the dogolith. Maybe this sucker needs a little bit of terraforming done. What's... How's your terraforming skills, Kitch? Uh, that would depend on what you want me to do. If you want me to do something extremely extravagant, um, hmm. That'd be interesting. But okay, I could probably you know what? You know what, dude? You know what? Here. You know what? I got a task for you, man. Come down. This is an important task, okay? We need to sort out. This is another one of the big things that we need to do. We need to sort out the uh, the terrain around the Cyberdog Monument. You can see that it's looking kind of butt ugly right now, right? It's all like yeah. janky. It's not looking great. Like there's, um, there's there's blocks that shouldn't be here. So I'm thinking, if you want to take control of basically fixing up all of the terrain around the monument, um, maybe trying to get it to look a little bit more natural, maybe get some more trees up in here. Uh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, that could be a plan. You can yeah. see over here at the back of the monument where I am, you, you see like here, it's all very straight lines. It's looking kind of janky. It's looking kind of like way too artificial. And I think we're probably going to need another road. Yeah, we're going to need another road in this direction too. Um, so if you want to just Connecting like, to where exactly? Here, going to the graveyard over here so the oh, road's okay. going to sort of come over here and and connect up over here so we're, we're probably going to need like some sort of uh you could you know you could do something like i don't know we could have like a little road and then maybe like a little bridge or something that goes over the ocean and then connects into the graveyard area i'm thinking like maybe we maybe okay. we connect um over over here something like that okay all right I that sounds good that. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, sweet. All right, crack forth. Crack on. I'm going to go and have a look at um, what the others are up to right now. How's everybody doing in the stream, man? You guys having a sweet day? Hello to uh, Silky Harton. Welcome to the stream. Good to see your butt. Sandy, good to see you. Um, I think I've already said hello to Walty, but hello again if I have. Uh, oh, my goodness. So much to do on this uh, on this freaking nether portal temple over here. Um, <coughs> Hi, Jax. Damn, dude. I, yeah. I, I just I just spotted that I didn't actually cut the schematic correctly. Uh, oh god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, I sliced off like half of the schematic here. Ah, darn it. Yeah. So I, I, I'm a, I'm gonna fix that now. I'm gonna fix that now. While I'm here, right before I forget. Uh. But man, is everybody having a sweet day? Hedge, I believe that um, I believe that uh, you you shouldn't even be here today, man. What's that? What's the story? Well, the story on that is that um, it is about five o'clock in the morning for me. So, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a uh, you know I, I got the email asking if I wanted to join, and I'm like maybe I shouldn't because you know people are actually sleeping a little bit at the moment. So I apologize if I'm quiet. Oh, that's but, okay. That's you know, I, okay. I, I talked it over with them Same and they said, yeah, do it, know, whatever. Yeah. So, oh, that's awesome. Um, oh, what, um, like your, um, your, your housemates or something like that? Yeah, something like that. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. And Hijax, I believe that um, you also <laughs> have a little bit of a story about today. Yeah, well, um, I should be working right now, but I called in sick because I couldn't find <laughs> anyone that wanted to work for me. What a uh, I, I couldn't miss this for gold. I, I wouldn't, really. Oh, that's so awesome, dude. That's so awesome. Well, I, 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 I truly and uh, honestly hope that none of your work colleagues watch Rendog because I, I hope to because <laughs> I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> you might be in a little bit of trouble if they do. Uh, but that's awesome, man. What about um, Mastermind? What's going on, man? What's what's happening in your world right now? Are you on holiday? What's going on? Well, I'm just on summer vacation from school, you know, and uh, yeah. Sweet. I was up ever since 5 a.m. just waiting to start this, you know, so I'm so excited. Oh man, that's awesome. So you've been also up all freaking night. That is epic. Yeah. MD, I believe you have a brand new computer, right? I do, and it's 
freaking awesome. I'm loving it. It takes like 20 minutes to render a video instead of two hours. It's incredible. Oh. It must feel so good, right? Like, like, isn't getting a new computer, guys, like one of the most awesome things that happens in life? Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh. It only happens like every few years, right? It only happens like every, for me anyway, it only ha I get a new computer like every maybe five years. Yeah, uh, same for me. It, yeah. I, I'm, I'm it was currently... a couple of years ago I got my last one, but that was, didn't have enough RAM on it, so I would really want to upgrade. Mm -hmm. So, I did kind of noob out because I thought it only had one attachment for a monitor, so I've had one screen. Uh, I realized that there's a second one, and I just didn't recognize it. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so I've got a cable coming, and when that arrives, I'll have my second screen back, and I'll be happy. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I usually, like, save up. So I'll buy, I'll buy like, the best computer that I can, right, that I can afford. I mean, I don't usually buy – I can't afford, like, a super expensive, insane computer. But, you know, I get, like, a, as good a computer as I can get, and then I spend the next five years saving for the next one, if you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and so that every every um, yeah. sort of five years or so, I get to upgrade to like the the late or close to the latest the latest spec. Um, I think it's like an investment worth worth investing in. I mean, especially for for me, obviously because of the YouTube. But I mean, even even before I was doing oh, I was doing that. Fool. Because the thing is, like, if it's your hobby, right? Um, the amount of money that you spend on your new PC uh, sort of pays itself off over five years for the entertainment value. You know, that's. Maybe that's just a, an excuse. <laughs> Maybe that's just an excuse to convince like mamas and stuff to buy you. The computer. But anyway, I've, I, I've always felt it justified, right, in like buying a really good PC. Because the thing is, if you buy like a, a janky PC, like basically what happens is you, you end up um, spending a load of money on upgrading the, the, the bits. So then, you know, you get better RAM, you get a better CPU, you get a better graphics card. By the end of it, you've spent, you've spent enough to have just bought a proper computer in the first place, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, since when are sticky pistons not sticky anymore? Uh oh. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I don't really yeah. I don't really know the problem there. Maybe pistons aren't enabled, but I don't think so. Oh, are we having problems with Yeah, yeah. Look, if if I place a piston and a stone above it, mm -hmm. it shoots Bring the stone, of it, the stone up if I place a torch, but it doesn't. What? Let me check out the plugins config. Yeah, that's why the redstone isn't working. There we go. So the redstone is actually configured correctly, but it's the pistons that are the problem. Yeah. Pistons only work if they are inside the claim. So I everything don't think needs we have to be. That no, it, I just checked. It's it's the same thing. Same Yeah, we it? have that plugin. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I just gotta find where to enable it. Well, hopefully Madigan is going to sort that one out. I'm going to start sorting out Beatrice's courtyard because it's looking, it's looking terrible, man. How's everybody else going, man? Good progress. Anybody found any any problems? Well, I found a missing block in the greenhouse. What? Yeah, I was just having wait, it right. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the presses. Hold the presses. I noticed this uh, fence which I just destroyed. Was what? It was missing. No, no, it's not connecting. No, down one. On that side. Try the piston now. There is. What the jazz? Oh, is there a, a glass, glass missing, missing in there? Wait, wait, hang on. I've just put. It, I've just put it in. Oh, okay. So that piece of glass is missing. What? That's terrible. That's terrible. You may want to check that in your world. Okay. Yeah. OCD's kicked in. Something fierce. I'm gonna have to sort that out. Oh yes. Thanks, MD, for destroying my OCD, dude. <laughs> Holy goodness. Don't you mean how activating did, it? How did you do this? What this? Yeah. This is this is well did it. Wait, do some, do some. Uh, how did you do this? What? I'm just using a smooth brush. I told you it's not gonna take very long. Jeez, well, that is cool. Look, I've got uh where can I do this? Uh I don't know. I can undo it. It's fine. I've got this golden hoe which is set to be a dirt brush. So I click it. It mm -hmm. forms a dirt sphere. I've got uh, this golden axe, which is an air brush, mm -hmm. which deletes stuff. Hey, look, it's like a throne. Check it out. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello there. And I have my Bring smoothing me brush. nuggets, you <laughs> minions. <laughs> How rude. That's a good one. Respectful to your king. Uh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I use the wrong brush. Well, I got the smoothing brush, which kind of like just smooths things down. So is this like a... 
Is this a bucket plugin or, or what is this? Yeah, it's a bucket plugin. It's one this, that I use in my series. This would be very useful for uh, fixing all of the horrible um, mic one point. What was it when we migrated to one point seven in survival? Yeah, it would still take a yeah. while though. I don't oh, think no, I mean, it's for single player though. Oh. Can you can you use it in player? single player, but you don't have the same amount of commands. Oh, okay. I mean, is there just a smooth brush though? Because that's all I would need, right? To yes, you have the smooth brush. Quarters. I mean, it would take me a day to do, but it's probably worth doing, I think. All right, let's crack over here. Mastermind, let's see. Oh, dude. This is looking beautiful, man. I'm loving this. Yeah, I'm kind of having trouble with the wall. I don't know what to do with that. Do pistons work yet? Yeah, yeah, they work, I believe. Okay, cool. Very nice work, Mastermind. I'm loving this, man. It's looking beautiful. You got a, you got a nice little bit of like uh, variation going on. Are you using uh, John Smith? Oh yeah, I'm using John Smith for building. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Is everybody using John Smith, by the way? Yeah, right? yeah. I just uh, no. it. Yes. I am using my slightly modified version. Okay. I can't stand it. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> oh. 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 Um, I just uh, think that it's probably quite important you, you, to use John Smith just so that you you, uh, you get the color schemes and stuff right, right? Yeah, I get the perspective right. of everything, I guess. Yeah, but it's all good, it's all good. But loving it, man. Keep it up, Mastermind, that's looking beautiful. All right, let's head over... What else have we got going on over here? We have a look at the temple. The temple. My dog's working his magic on my, my dog's greenhouse over there, looking good. Kedge, what's going on, dude? How's it going up here in the monuments? Uh, it's, it's going. It's going. I mean, it's not going fast, but it's going. Nice, nice. It's already looking a little bit, uh, a little bit more natural, so that's looking uh, sweet. Madigans, I, you're just going around destroying stuff, man. Yeah, pretty much. I've been, I've been watching. I am you. fixing up the apartment. You've been running around wrecking havoc. Um, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Let's MD. The disco started again, man. Disco? What disco? We got the mud dog disco up in the house. Oh, sorry, it, I had to type. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um. Oh, what I would, what I did want to go and have a look at is. Hmm. But it looks like we're making some pretty decent progress over here, guys. I think probably the. I was actually working on, on Beatrice's courtyard, actually. That's what I was doing. I mean, let, me, let me get back to cracking on that. So how do you guys feel about... Let's have a, like a, a chat about what we could potentially do on the server. Uh, Maddie and I have been talking about like what kind of games and stuff we want to do on the server, but we haven't really decided 100% yet. So it'd be actually quite cool to get your guys' thoughts on uh, what you would like to see on the server. Let me give you a breakdown of what we have decided on so far, right? Like, these are going to be the things that are obviously on the server, right? User um, entered your channel. Oh. Oh, hello, Notra Bra and Andrew. Welcome to the stream. I hope you are enjoying it. Hello, New Fee Elite. Uh-oh. Here's trouble. Oh, it's girl's uh -oh. here. Uh-oh. It's girl 85 has come to join us. Hello, sir. Hello. Hmm. Oh, hi. Oh hello there! You're very very soft. Let me let me let me pump your volume a bit there, man. It's go. How you doing, Ren? Good man. Just hanging out with some cyber dogs, working on the server. You want to come and hang out? <laughs> I was watching the stream. I couldn't help myself. I had to go here. <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, you're more than help, uh, more than welcome to come and join us, man. Uh, Madigans will hook you up with the, the server details and whatnot. Cool. I think I'm gonna leave the redstone for now because it's just holding me up. Uh, maybe that's something Iskall can help us with, actually. Oh, yeah, great. That, that so would Iskall, be absolutely fantabulous. I think it was in season two of my survival series I built this like etho door in my Nether Portal temple. All right, you need to whitelist me as well, uh, Madigans. Yes, go on. Uh, I, I got is like it just Iskall eighty five. Yep. Okay. Um, I, I made this etho door, right? It's kind of like a, it's a door that opens uh, uh, horizontally and vertically at the same time. It basically looks like a butthole because it's made out of nether, nether rack. <laughs> and in the texture pack that we use, the nether rack kind of looks like, uh, well, like a butt. Flesh. 
Yeah, it kind of looks like flesh, so it looks kind of disgusting. Anyway, it's known as the butthole of the Nether Portal Temple. But when I did the world edit uh, migration to this hub, the redstone uh, broke for some reason. Or it's just not working anymore for some reason. Maybe I can. And we just, we can't seem to actually figure out what the jazz is going on with it. Ooh. All right, I'll, I'll help you fix it. Um, probably need some <laughs> game old creative and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, Because yeah, I'm yeah. swimming, we'll... but yeah. <laughs> Oh, dang it. How do I do uh, how do I do that? Game mode. Game mode uh, C and then my name. Game mode C. He should be able to do it to himself, I think. I hope he did it for him. Oh okay. Thanks. Right, there you go. Where you at, Eskel? Where you at? Eskel? I'm at the uh, granny monument thing. The golden one. Yes. Okay, I'm coming. Dude, how uh you can't actually see because you're not using John Smith, but Man, the, the beam that comes out of John Smith is the most disgusting thing that I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, I, I've seen it on your stream. I agree. It's. I, I mean, it's it's even worse than diorite. I know that that sounds cray, but it really is like one of I the agree. most ugly things I've ever seen in Minecraft. Whoever made that needs to basically, I don't know, get... Take a good, long, hard look. Well, take a good, hard, long look at themselves. Yeah, yeah. and exactly. <laughs> Got there in the end. That's what matters. So where is this door, Ren? I'm following you. Where you got? Where you at? Where you at? Hey, dude, you got, a, you. you got a you got a pretty sexy Bye, cape buddy. over there, dude. A pretty sexy cape. Apparently, you just wanted to kick me out. <laughs> Come with me, you damn. If you sweet. want to live. Why does it always have to be you, damn sweet? <laughs> never have you awesome sweet. There's always the damn sweet. Okay, I'll, okay. From now on, I'll change it to you awesome sweet. Okay. All right. So this is the project at hand, huh? Yep. So this is the butthole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, you know what? Let's just get rid of all of this, so we can expose. We can expose it for what it is. Expose the to the uh, god <laughs> ugliness behind it. Expose exactly. Expose the monstrosity of the butthole. So as you can see, these sticky pistons are supposed to be retracting when you hit the. Okay. Uh, yeah. Pads. I'll, I'll fix it. Uh, what? Watch this stream. Watch this. You want it, to see, it's uh, going to be fixed in like three minutes, and I've been here for like what, fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah, Hadjax. Well, <laughs> this awesome Swede is amazing at redstone. He really is, man. He's a redstone freak. He built me a really awesome like boat dispensing thing in uh, Kingdom Craft. I was so impressed. This guy I was like, "Damn, son, you are so you are so awesome." I'm only going to give you compliments from now on, okay? <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. I wonder how long it'll last. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it for as long as it may take. <laughs> so, Isco, you want to say he hello to everybody on the stream? We got 36 people out there. What? Yes, hi, everybody. Thanks for, for having me, Ren. And oh, thanks man, for the Cyberdogs for having me. Glad to Absolutely be here. Pleasure. Man, for those of you guys who are just just, maybe you're a little bit confused because, especially if this is the first time you've actually seen what we're doing here. Um, you guys have noticed that there are Minecraft survival stuff <laughs> in that aren't in the Minecraft survival world. And that's because the Cyberdogs and I are currently working on the spawn Ooh. hub for the new Cyberdog server. So we're starting a new Cyberdog server this, this year as soon as possible. And when you join the server, you're going to be landing in this spawning hub. And from this hub, you, you're going to be able to choose all the different games and stuff that you want to play. So what we're doing today on this stream is just working on making this server hub look a little bit better, looking a little bit more beautiful. Um, and Iskos come to join us, and we also have Hijacks, Kajushi, Mastermind, Madigans, Vikmans, and a Mud Dog who are with us also. So it is pretty sweet. Look at this, man! These pistons are already triggering. Yep. Soon, soon done. I don't know. There was a little bit of a mess here. Uh <laughs> But I'm fixing hey, Ajax, it. Have you, have you noticed this little little bit of mossy cobblestone? That's yeah, there? I saw it. I, I mean, it's precious it? in, in your survival series, <laughs> and yet it is in the <laughs> Nether Portal Temple. I wonder if I put it there on purpose. I can't remember. I don't know. I really don't know. 
I think I, oh, you know what I think it was? I think when I was working on the design initially, I was, I wanted there to be mossy cobblestone. Yeah, 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 that's right. You I were like, to... yeah, ex experimenting with cobblestone and mossy cobblestone, if I remember, if I recall. Yeah. Yep, 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 that's what we're doing. And I think I wanted to make these slabs uh, mossy cobblestone, if I recall, but it looks like I just got lazy and forgot to remove it. <laughs> uh, that looks level. great. I mean, of course. There would be no chance that this would ever be exposed really until today so you know <laughs> no one would know and when i was doing this i never expected that we would ever be putting a server together so you know there you go um Rendog, um yes, sir. okay i i see this outside and i'm thinking okay i, I want to make corruption may <laughs> i partially destroy the outside <laughs> so it looks like it got ruined by the corruption yes or... go for it That's okay cool, great man. Wow, thank you. Do what you, you got to do, man. Set some stuff on fire if you need. Maybe a couple of lava pools out here. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, that's gonna be look. That's gonna look great, man. Yeah, that's gonna. Look oh wow. Do what you got to do, man. Do what you got to do. Boom, Iskal, you doing a great job, yeah, dude. Yeah. What What did you do now? Did you break something? I didn't break nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'm just I'm opening the bubble. Okay. It's, yeah. It's really. Oh, wow. A little bit of yeah, st stop opening it, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a bit of indigestion going on over here, dude. All right, I'm gonna crack on with working on uh, on Beatrice's courtyard over here. My dog has a terraforming going over there, dude. Oh, uh, not too bad. Trying mm -hmm. to place jungle trees at the moment. Oh wow! So you've got the the island uh, nice and sorted. Yeah. All right, well, hang on. If you wait. see random jungle trees appearing, that's don't be afraid. It's perfectly normal. Okay. Jewel. Okay. Where where you at? Oh, you're over there. So I was talking uh, just before Iskal joined us. I was talking a little bit about what we wanted to do on the server. Um, let's just have a quick. Well, it's a bit again. close. Oh man, this is looking beautiful, MD. Looking beautiful, man. Uh, looking lovely. Um, what do you reckon? One over here somewhere. Yeah. Jewel. Yeah. There we go. And then and then jungle jungleification, right? Yeah, I, did, here. I swear there was a command for that, but I can't seem to remember what it is. The jungleification command. Become jungle. Oh, I've got, got the so. head to do. Oh, I still got this bit to do. Yeah, so there's all of this. Uh, you know what? You know what uh, I think you can do is just you can just lock that in, right? We, just, we don't even need to put like fill it. Oh, yeah, but this is me. Okay. I don't think that was do for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The OCD will kick in something crazy, right? Right, There's cool, some sheep down here. That's looking awesome. Um, yo! There, the door is done. Oh, yeah. The door is done. Someone is come it? and repair the, <laughs> the wow. blocks that need to be around it. Well, oh, you are absolutely amazing. Jeez, wow. Man, smashed that, man. I need to hook it up from the other side, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Wow. You, you did it absolutely. Wait, guys, I don't know what. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't have done it myself that quickly. That's that's why I love this awesome Swede man. He's a genius. There we go. Now we now we're talking awesome Swede. I like it better. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking good. Okay. Yeah, it looks alright. <laughs> um. Oh no! I broke something. <laughs> Didn't take long. Oh no! We got a problem. We got a pro. Oh wait. No. 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 no we're good. We're good. We good. <laughs> Boom. Okay, and now we should be able to just put blocks there without... Yeah, yeah, that's great. Bam! Oh. Yeah. Um, I just noticed the little OCD thing. Yeah. And I don't know if you did it on purpose in your survival series, but mm -hmm. the right side pillars or towers aren't the same as the left side pillars. Yeah, um... <laughs> I, I never got around to finishing them. That's <laughs> I'm going to make him look like it wasn't purpose. Okay, sweet. <laughs> um, all right, let's go. What else can we do around here? Did you, maybe you can come and help me with a bit of beautification in the in the starting location. I'm at your disposal. Whatever you want to do, sir. Oh. Yeah, this is actually we're gonna need a little bit of help with this one. This this is gonna be a tricky one actually. So, this is kind of like the center of the whole thing, the Granny Dog Monument staircase. Hey, Maddie. Right? Yep. Hello. And I want to try and. Okay, so in this direction, 
there's a road that's going to the uh, to another little location over there. This direction it goes to the um, the monument. In oh, this road here is gorgeous. Who did this? Wow. Oh yeah, that's that's Mastermind's work. It's it's beautiful, isn't it? Super nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. This probably hey, won't you, work. Is there a way to do ground trees? What do you mean? Um, like spawning ground trees, like the jungle kind of thing. I don't know. I'll have a look in a minute. Will that work? So yeah, go on, Ren. Sorry, I just had to to oh. say fortification. You things. can just plant the sapling, oh, and you will spawn me. It will grow itself. Just replace all the logs with air. That's a good idea. So, Esco, what I'm trying to figure out, right, is how to make uh, the central uh, square not so square. You know what I mean? Oh, I want, okay. I want it to kind of look like... Mm, a circle that goes around and around, yeah? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I so think I'm you've done a great job here, though, with this, uh, with, with the staircases here. Mm -hmm. Like this little, co like, corner bit here. Mm, ah, I like it, ah, yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. ah. So I suppose what we need to do is just like uh, get all of the these slab roads. All the slab roads need to be three thick, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to like clear away all of the foliage around here. And, and see this. Um, okay, well guys, I've been trying to talk about <laughs> what we're going to be doing on the server, but I've been distracted by all of the awesomeness that's going on around here. So... Let's talk about this server. What is it going to be, right? Well, the first thing that we're going to do, the number one thing, and probably it's going to be the most important section of the server, is going to be the survival uh, section. It's going to be 100% vanilla. Um, and I think the portal to the survival uh, survival server... Uh, it's just spawning the big trees, damn it. Uh, the portal to the survival server will probably be in, in Mama Dog's greenhouse. So when you go into Mama Dog's greenhouse, you will be taken to the survival server. The spawn of the survival server, this is something that I want to share with you guys. I don't, I don't think I've told anyone yet, but the spawn is going to be the Silkum Gang Island. You're going to you're gonna spawn in the Silkum Gang Island port, and you're going to have wow. to uh, drop drop down uh, the Goxy hole to get out of there and then go and, do, and then take a boat off the island, and then you can start your survival uh, world. Which I think is going to be pretty awesome. So the survival is going to be a pretty important part of the server, probably like the, the most uh, popular one, I would think. Well, I would hope anyway that everybody loves the survival one. But we were then trying to just decide what the other uh, server things were going to be. So we were talking about maybe having like a UHC server, which could be pretty cool. Like, um, I don't know. You see, the thing is, I don't even know how that works, right? Like, do you join... Uh, a, a UHC server with 12 people or 20 people or whatever, and then when it's over, the it's resets or something like that. Does anyone know how a UHC server works? I have. Oh, no, no. Okay. No clue. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Anybody else? Does anyone know how, like, how a UHC server works? Well, you could, of course, make a different service, and you can only limit the access for people you have as you said, 12 people, and if everyone died in that server, you just delete the server and start a new one. Mm -hmm. do. I've played on some UAC servers, and what they do is like every time the new like, game starts, they generate a new map. Like, I don't know if that's what you guys would want to do or not, but yeah. Okay, so basically what you do is you have like multiple instances of a UHC server starting, right? Yeah. So whenever uh, whenever the server fills up to the, the player limit, say it's 12 or whatever, then the UHC tr uh, server trigger starts the map, right? I... Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I guess so. Madigans, does that sound like something that's possible? There might be a plugin for it. I'm guessing there's um, a Hunger Games plugin or something like that that does it. That sounds to me like there, it, there might be quite a lot of server load, though, right? If there's, if there's yeah, that's what I'm worried about. At the same time. I, I mean, which yeah. is fine, you know. If it's popular, then then that doesn't really matter, right? Then we just upgrade the server. Uh, but I suppose if it's gonna like like lag out the rest of the the, the server really hard, then maybe that's not a viable option. Okay, so what else could we do, guys? We've got a we've got a, a survival world, which is really sweet. What else could we do? Um, build battle. Maybe like a creative build battle. battle or something. Build battle. 
Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's creative uh, building t uh, to other people, and you get one team for one team. Yeah, team. Yeah. Wow. Well, I made the sushi, uh, Rendog. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, so yeah. it's like Hypixel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's only Hypixel exclusive that you have to pay for getting the rights for that because. Oh, I see. Yeah, they, yeah. they might have a. a Patented. Like mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a oh, copyright on the actual uh, mechanic. Well, I know Mindplex got the Building Wars or whatever, something yeah. like that as well. On their server. Okay, that sounds like a pretty cool idea because that's like a really fun mo uh, mode, right? It's a really cool mode. What yeah. about a what about a sky block? Oh, that's that's great. You could mm -hmm. just make one server and um, have sky blocks fifty blocks apart or something like that. And just every time someone wants to play Skyblock, there spawns a new Skyblock next to that person or on under that person. Mm -hmm. And is it PvP Skyblock or um, I mean I don't know very much about Skyblock, but it's do you do you literally like just spawn on your own little island? Yeah, yeah, and uh, you spawn on your little island, and then you have to make a house, survive, and basically you're done in 15 minutes. But oh right, okay. So yeah, you have like but, limited resources or something. Yeah, you can't go get iron because the island is so small. You have to like make always cobble, cobblestone tools or stone tools. Mm -hmm. So you basically basically are stuck in mid ages of Minecraft. Unless you of course try to take out all of your friends on the server. Okay, that sounds pretty fun. Yeah, it is. That sounds like a cool mode. Uh, what else? I mean, what other kind of? Um, I, I suppose we could do PvP, but maybe I don't. I, don't, I mean, it's. I think it's probably quite difficult to do PvP unless the server's like super popular, right? Because then the, the rooms just don't trigger if there's not enough people. Yeah, well, you, the, there are two different PvP things. You can have like a server for PvP, or you could um, make a, a a little part that triggers PvP, and if you jump in, then you're vulnerable to PvP. So if there are two people in one thing, you, they can attack, but if you're up the ledge or behind the fence, you can't be hit. That's, okay, a, that's, yeah. that's a pretty cool idea. Or maybe we just do like a Hunger Games or something, right? That could be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Okay, well, we got a, we got a ton of ideas. Um, a lot of decisions to make. I suppose to start with, we'll probably keep it quite simple and just start with survival. Um, you know, get that up and up and running as fast as possible. Because of course we're going to need to optimize and do all of that stuff. It might be a, it might be quite tricky, right, to get all of that correct. So we'll probably start with survival um, and take it from there. I reckon that sounds like a plan. Let's go. Why do you work so fast, man? Jeez. Got to get the things done, Ren. Gotta get the things done. <laughs> you finished all the corners before I'd even finished one of them. Damn freak. Okay. Yeah, but it's looking pretty good, isn't it? I like yeah, that, that. That looks way better. That looks really sweet. Let's go. I told you the compliments wouldn't last long. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Damn sweet. <laughs> Look at this villager here, Randog. Yeah, it's a Beatrice. It's a Beatrice. You may slay her. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't awaiting approval. Oh, man. Uh, okay, Iskal, cool. the next thing that I wanted to, to, to do was mm -hmm. work on like a little water feature here. Don't it just fly past me. A water feature. A water feature, innit? In I was it. thinking like something like, uh, boom, like this. Get some of this, this polished diorite going. Uh, Madigans, uh, can I get um, uh, permission for... Uh world edit because I'm kind of struggling with the size here. Uh, so you should have like... it. Yeah? Okay. Better. Wait, do we have world edit in here? Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. Now I can build. <laughs> uh oh. Please initiate world edit for his scalinator. Okay. I have it. I have it. Things are about to get real. Okay, well, do you want to go do some terraforming and stuff? There's quite a lot that needs to be done over here, Esco. If you want to have a look, I, I can work on these little little details. Come look at my me. look at my world edit skills. I just put the water there and world edit. Oh, boom! That's pretty sweet. <laughs> so, come here. Oh, oh, that's a tree. 
So this island over here, I believe we've got a cyber dog working on this one, but it is, it's quite, it's quite a big task that I set him. Uh, sorry, Vickmans, man. I set you like one of the hardest ones. Uh, but you can see that this island needs quite a lot of terraforming around it, especially the bits that go into the ocean. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, it just looks like it's been plonked in here from World Edit. Well, it was. Um, but all of these, like, these things need to be turned into banks, I suppose, that go underwater. So it looks, uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It all, um, it all needs to look like this. Right. Are there any other projects? Okay. <laughs> 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 that one's a little bit too big for your taste. I'm not good at the terraforming thing. You know this. Oh, I yeah, always yeah, resort yeah. to you. Okay, okay. Let's go back to the monument then and work on our little fountains, shall we? All right. I'm almost finished. I just have to make some floor oh. jungles. Yeah. I just copied and pasted them. Mud. <laughs> really? Yep. It's not bad either. How's everybody enjoying the stream today? Let's say hello to some peeps. Liz, nice to see you right there. Come to join us once again. Justy1220, hello, welcome to the stream. Pneumatic, thank you for modern taking care of the stream. You and Mubot doing an excellent job as usual. Ailish5464, hello, and welcome to the stream. Hope you guys are enjoying just hanging out with me and the Cyberdogs, man. We're just jamming. Just taking it easy. Eskel, uh, do, you wanna, do you wanna work on a, on a, on a cow pen? I can, yeah. Gendog Gen Gen Dog wants a recap of which people are in the stream, so maybe you can do that, and I can do your cow pen. Okay. Or uh, pe people in the in the works of the dog craft thing. Okay, cool. Let, I'll do that. Let me take you over to the cow pen, Esco. I'll show you. Now this is this is the pen of Big Mac the cow. Okay. We discovered him uh, when we found our first mushroom biome and we dragged him all the way home, probably like 5,000 blocks. It was ridiculous how far I had to drag him home. But I got his ass home, stuck him in a pen, and he's been there for about two years. You can see he's not very happy about it. But... <laughs> it it's gorgeous, though. He can't ask for a better pen, right? Exactly. It's I, usually, I usually stick my cows in, like, water holes. I'm super mean. <laughs> I made him a nice little place. Uh, but as you can see, it's super square. Uh, it's just been plonked on top of this island, looking kind of janky, janktastic. Uh, you want to jazz it up? This is this is it. This is, this is the chance to do some jazzing. And you can get rid you can get rid of all of this wheat and stuff around here also if you want. Is that okay? So, so do you want me to connect it to another island or? Oh, that's a good point. There, there needs to be a road that comes here too. Yes, we need a bridge. We need a I'm, bridge. I'm thinking bridge. I can build a bridge. bridge. Yeah, I if can do we a build bridge. a bridge from here, uh, from this, yes, yeah, you're thinking exactly. You're picking up what I'm putting down, man. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even. I'm not even putting it down, and you're picking it up. That's how cray it is. All the way over here, and then connecting to the road. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even have to. I don't even have to brief this guy, man. He's like he like uh, he's in my brain. It's kind of scary. Um, but Gen Dog, you wanted to know who is currently on the server helping me build. Well, let's have a little bit of a recap. We have got Mud Dog working on Mama Dog's greenhouse island. Who? Oh. Let's, let's do a little tour. Um, where is that? Where is it? Oh man, I'm still getting lost on my own damn server hub. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, right over here. Oh, hello, Mud Dog. What's it. happening? Mud Dog is working on sprucing I've up Mama got Dog's most greenhouse. Most of it done. Got a island. little corner here to do. MD, what have you been up to over here, man? Take us take us through what you've already done here, man. Well, I fixed your greenhouse to start with. Oh, uh, yeah, there was a block missing. Don't tell anyone. Um, apart from that, just plugging holes using World Edit, spawning new trees, uh, just making some uh, carpet foliage at the moment. Beautiful, man. It's looking awesome. This was actually just looking quite square. I suppose there's still a little bit of work to be done here, right? Around these the square areas. If you know well, what I mean, like, you mean the stone or just the? Hmm. It looks like there's a little road missing on this side, isn't there? Like it looks like. Yeah, it looks like there's well, there should be a road coming out this way. Shouldn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Okay, it's so a little bit of road work that still needs to be done there, but that's looking freaking awesome, MD. Waiting job, to man. see where the roads come in to stop. What are the roads looking like? I'm gonna go find out. Okay, that's looking awesome. Uh, Mastermind DC is working on the roads. 
looking amazing, dude. Jeez, you're doing a good job here. It's looking absolutely beautiful. He is working on connecting up all of the different areas of the CyberDog server with this beautiful road design. He's also got a task on his hands, though, because we, we cannot be uh, allowed to jump out of the roads, too. People who join the server, of course, can't jump out of the uh, the road section. So he's that's, the reason why the, that's the reason yep. why the road is going so slow in the building. Because I'm trying mm -hmm. to make sure that no one can get hurt. Yep, making sure that every like spot of it is uh, like unjumpable, right? Yeah. Ah, it's looking beautiful though, dude. You're doing an absolutely fantabulous job on this one. Let's head over to get rid of this floating tree though. Let's head over to the Nether Portal Temple. Oh, jeez, Kidge, you are going cray up in here, man. It's looking awesome. Kidge is working on uh, the Nether Portal Temple. Kidge, what you been up to over here, man? What what work have you done already? I don't That's think Kidge was there. Oh, sorry, my bad. The... Hijacks, my bad, my bad. My yeah. bad. Uh, no problem. Sorry, that's my bad. <laughs> Hijacks, what, what have you been working on here? Uh, well, I've just uh, destroyed this tower. It's just like a ruin, and there's going to be more corruption leading to the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So basically, the uh, corruption from the temple is starting to like flood over into the world. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. It's going to take over uh, all of uh, server Rentopia. Oh yeah. no, <laughs> that's bad news. But I really love how you've made this this tower look like it's toppled over, right? It's sort of like fallen over. Yeah, uh, that's really really awesome. Yeah, uh, I've also started making a, mm -hmm. like a cliff on the side here, um, trying to make uh, it look like it was here already and didn't yep. get spawned in yeah that, that's one of the biggest challenges that we have today right is to try yeah. and, and stop the stop world it edits like it's just been, yeah like, copied and pasted into the world right yeah that's that's one of them yeah okay well that's looking good man you're doing an excellent job over there hijacks uh, i just next, see a green huh? i did see a green red dog am i green <laughs> no but isco looks like a green red, red dog. oh yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, Kidge is currently working around okay, this, the Cyberdog Monument, right? Where yes, that is correct. Where are you at, man? Uh, I'm around the Cyberdog Monument. I'm, okay. I'm yeah. laying down a little um, pathway towards the graveyard right now. It's just a little basic row that I'll fix up later. Nice, nice. And working on the environment around the monument also, making it look a little bit more natural. Yep. Looking really awesome. Good job. Madigan's is floating around, getting rid of anything that looks ugly and horrible. That's right, Madigan's? Yeah, I'm also building this little jungle area at the back of the apartments. Oh, yes, yes. You're currently working on the Grizzle family apartments here. Oh, you've done an amazing job here. Yeah. When we started this uh, server, there was absolutely nothing behind here, and now there's a beautiful jungle. Jeez, man, you made this look so natural. This is amazing, Madigan's. Good job, dude. Beautiful, Thank you. beautiful work. Uh, we have got Vickmans working on the graveyard island, is that correct? And, and the bridge? Yeah. I'm not working on the bridge at the moment. Okay. Trying to make like a dark thing around the graveyard. It's very cool. You're using these like the dark oak wood trees. And yeah, and the podzel. And podzel also to give it like... Yeah, a... and then I'm trying to also kind of blend in the island like it's not from the edit. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, but this is quite a tricky one because this one... We we pasted it basically. You can see it's been pasted. Yeah, I can see there were three island. trees coming <laughs> trees coming from underground and yeah. stuff like that. It's just quite funny. <laughs> it's quite funny and and it's I, I stuck it on top of an island that was too small for it. If you know what I mean, so <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah. like a like a hat or something. Uh, so yeah, ton of work to do there on the terraforming side of things. That is that is looking awesome. Uh, who else have we got working? I think I've gone through everything. Everyone, right? Oh, me ex oh except my <laughs> except my favorite suite hold on let me get over there wow you threw up that bridge quick and fast and in a hurry you are a psychotic swede man but in a good way <laughs> i told you, how did, you do this? <laughs> how did you make this so fast we've got worm daddy come on now oh uh, uh, do you do you, don't you know this Ch check this out ren okay i want to show I, your okay. your stream something yeah i'm watching Okay, let's build a section of a bridge that is gorgeous and beautiful and everything, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, let's do it like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, we we'll go with a little bit of fencage. Everybody loves a bit of fencage, am I right? I love, exactly. I love me a bit of fencage. Okay, now watch out. 
Oh! Boom! <laughs> Damn! Boom! What in the jazz? Whoa! I thought that's you were going to be pissed. Wow, okay, that's awesome. I think Escal just showed me something I didn't know. <laughs> I know my world edit. I'm a, I'm a pro, I'm a former map maker. I don't even think Randog knew that. No, I didn't. I didn't. I will know that now. Uh, Iskal, I'd just like to say though that there's a bit of, perhaps a bit of physics fails going on over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is this bridge supporting itself over here in this position over here? It's a hanging bridge. No, but I, I'll do pillars there. Don't you worry. Oh, okay, okay. So Iskal's working on this incredible looking bridge. Damn, dude, that's looking sweet. Uh, and Gen Dog, I hope that's everyone. That's everyone, man. Everybody's got a job to do. I'm currently working on uh, setting up some nice little fountains here the first. in the uh, in Granny Dog's monument. And everybody's just uh, just doing their thing, man. Pretty sweet. Let's say hello to some new people that have joined us on the stream. Hello, the goat. What is going on? The, the goat two one four eight three. Damn, son. It's a weird number to give yourself a freaking goat. And it looks like everybody is just hanging out, enjoying their day, watching us craft some stuff here, guys. Looking pretty sweet. Madigans, what's going on, dude? I'm just looking around, okay. seeing what everyone's doing. Come to do a bit of scouting, have you? Yeah, I'm lazy, so I'm not working. <laughs> hey, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. Hey, man, into that. Mastermind, you have finally uh, made your way up to uh, the monument, which is really awesome. Yeah, finally. <laughs> So this is pretty much first road completed now, which is looking excellent. Now I'm wondering what we do for lighting. I'm gonna do some. Hmm, maybe we can set up some like redstone lamps or something here, right? Uh, yeah, I could probably set up some redstone lamps. Yeah. Let me try. Let me try oh, something here. I've got a pretty funny story about redstone lamps, actually. If you want to hear it. I want to hear it, man. Hit me. Okay, so yesterday I was doing a bit of prep work for the stream in case I was going to do something with uh, lighting along this road here. And um, <clears throat> I was trying to figure out how you did your redstone lamps in survival, but I just couldn't get it. I, I just couldn't get it figured out. So I, uh, I uh, learned some redstone uh, from this tree's going to have to go. Yeah, Wait. Yeah. So. Somebody dumped redstone mean, you know, it's from like, red? Mm. Yeah, I had to learn redstone from Red Dog. <laughs> oh, big God, <laughs> that's that's definitely not something. Yeah, that's definitely not something I would recommend. So, to like, I mean, it, it it worked out. It worked out. I was able to figure out what you did. So nice. that's, the, that's the good thing. That is a good thing. What what were you watching? What, what which one? Oh, the lighting. Yeah, yeah, it was um where you first made the lights for Mole City. Oh, so well, there's those... a ton of lights around here, so just copy it. <laughs> oh, but guys, yeah, those, gonna those try lights are really those. cool, though, man. Those, those are cool. Yeah, lights. those are those are really cool, and that's that's why I watched the video because I don't I don't know where you found out the design from, but I knew that that's where I can get the designs. So I'm like, mm -hmm. you know what? Gotta watch that. Yep, it definitely wasn't my design. I wish I could take the credit for it, but I I I think I I, I definitely credit whoever designed it in the video, uh, but. It is a beautiful little design. What do you think of this, Mars? These little, these like little lamp thingies. Cause I here's think the they look pretty good. Like they fit in, like perfect, actually. Nice. Because here's what I'm thinking, right? In John Smith, um, redstone has this basically the same texture as a redstone lamp, right? Yeah. But in vanilla, the redstone, uh, the uh, glowstone block looks terrible. Well, it, it yeah. doesn't look. It doesn't look like a like a light block, right? No. Yeah. So that's why I'm thinking we use uh, these redstone torches like this. Just keep it nice and simple. We don't have to do anything cray, right? Yeah, Just I, think make it like looks, a... I think it looks great, actually. And at night, it's going to look beautiful, man. It's going to look sweet. And it kind of like gives you a, you know, when you're when you're running along this road, you can see the the lights, and it it entices you to follow. You know, you want to you want to see what's at the end of these lights. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Okay, awesome, man. That's looking good. Uh, MD, hello there, man. You've arrived. You've arrived at Granny Dog's Monument. It's like everybody's walk working towards Granny Dog's Monument. It's actually it's really cool. Yeah, I just I figured that I'm going to have to have the path. Mm -hmm. I know how to do the layout around the mm -hmm. greenhouse, so once I know where that's going, then I can do the rest of it. I'm thinking, like, I really, really love Mastermind's Road. If you guys haven't seen it yet, man, you got to see it. It's absolutely beautiful. I did go over check it out. It's uh -huh. pretty sweet. 
I think like the, I think that all the roads should like uh, follow this design so we can keep it nice and and symmetrical I suppose or uh, consistent I guess yeah it's it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing MD can I use your skills right now man I need your world edit skills whereabouts come forth man over here we got a problem okay we you got, mean this yeah. chasm We've got we've got right, Granny right, Dog yeah. Monument Road like hanging over a cliff face over here. We need to fill this jazz quick, fast, and in a hurry. Boom. Oh my goodness. Oh are you guys seeing this? Do you guys remember when I did the first freaking stream on this server? I was breaking blocks individually no, that ain't for hours work. to do this. Remember that? My dog comes here and does it in freaking two minutes. Set the mask <laughs> to air. But why? Why are we using grass blocks on top of grass blocks? Hmm? Ew! Turn to dirt. Okay. Learn creative, Ren. <laughs> creative move. Okay. And now we just do some terraform action. It's looking terrible though, dude. I think we need to bring it all the way out here, man. We need to have a nice, like, soft gradient here, I think. Uh, I need to turn my diamond hoe back to being a smooth brush. Uh, right, let's get rid of some of these leaves. All right, sweet. Escalinator, man, what's happening over there at the cow pen? I am uh, finishing up the bridge. I've oh, added damn, the pillars son. that you were... They were complaining about, and I'm actually getting ready to to leave uh, for today. Unfortunately, I have to get going. But uh... okay, so so this is how it works. You come you come and hang out. You build a beautiful bridge, and then you leave. And fix your redstone door. <laughs> yeah. And fix the reds. Okay. Is that is that how it is now? Is that how it is now? I would love to stay, but I have an appointment with the with the movies. Okay. No, dude, you've this done an absolutely amazing job, dude. This bridge is beautiful, dude. My lord. It's gorgeous, man. Gorgeous. Awesome. We could add some random holes so that people fall into water. <laughs> <and die>. uh, <laughs> oh man, it's a I feature. Su <laughs> I suppose we could we could add stairs, right? No, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it goes when you and me play play Kingdom Craft. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, when when Eskal and I play, play Kingdom Craft, I make suggestions and Eskal says no. That's how it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> hey, but hey, uh, thank you so much for coming and joining us, Iskal. Uh, you know, the crazy amount of work you did in such a short amount of time. You're an absolute, uh, you're a legend. And I love you. I love your Swedish butt. You too, bro. Thanks for having me. And thanks all the cyber dogs and, and everybody in here. This you, You're doing amazing work here. I'm so excited to, to play on this server. Sweet. Can't believe it. Sweet. All right, brother. I'll see you on Kingdom Crop, man. See ya. Later, dude. User disconnected from your channel. Oh, baby. Have you guys seen a Skull's Bridge? I've seen it. It looks amazing. <laughs> it looks amazing, right? And so quick, man. Wow. That's one of the things that impresses me most about Iskal, is his building speed is absolutely ridiculous. It's like his brain is on autopilot when he plays this game. He, like, plugs in. It's like the Matrix, you know? Like, uh, tank, I want to learn to fly a helicopter. <laughs> Helicopter. It's goes like, I'm gonna build a bridge. Tank, you give me the program. <laughs> bridge, done. I mean, it's crazy, guys. Crazy skills. Okay, so where's the next path that you want me to do from where at? Okay, uh, where you at, man? Okay, so you've connected here. I reckon the next one is probably, uh, yes, going to. Yeah, check it out, right? I've made like a little path that goes through to okay. Beatrice's courtyard over here and the. Um, uh, the Nether Portal Temple over there. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Yeah. All right, sweet, man. How's everybody <laughs> hanging out in the stream? You guys having a good time with us today? Who else haven't I seen? Bego has just arrived. Hello, Bego. What is going on? Bulchi. Hello, my friend. Trend Walker. Nice to see you. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the day with us. Yeah, Minecraft 16, I think I've said hello to you already, but what is cracking? You guys liking how the CyberDog server is starting to look? It's starting to come together, right? Like, the vision is starting to take shape, you know? Like, this is pretty much how I envisioned this 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 hub to look. 
these guys are doing an absolutely amazing job getting it done, man. Look at this. I mean, I would never have done uh, what Hijax has done over here with this sort of corruption taking over the world. I mean, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So the guys are doing an absolutely fantastic job. Hey, uh, Hijax, I had an idea, man. Yeah. Why don't we use a little bit of... Come check it out, dude. Oh, what's all? Yeah, man. Do a little bit of, you know, like the grass is like getting corrupted. At, up oh, it's good. Oh, yeah. But like it's got all dirty Hi, Jax, and... Can I recommend the replace gross. tool, perhaps? Oh, uh, how does that work? Yeah, yeah. Tell if me. You go, if you get like a, a hoe or something... Yeah. And uh, I just let me check the command... Uh, hmm. Sorry, I haven't used it for a while. It doesn't work in the single player. Well, I don't uh, know. Maybe. Uh, oh, maybe uh, Soul Sand. Yeah, Soul Sand could work too. Maybe this console looks a little bit. Look at this, man. This uh, what is this? Mycelium or whatever? I have no. Yeah, it's mycelium. Yeah. 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 See, it's... But it looks good. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't know yet. Mm. Maybe the mycelium like... on the outside and like Puzzle more to the corruption and then. Mycelium is getting, is is just getting infected. Yep, yep, yep. Looks good. Because the mycelium looks like it's um, it's sick grass, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that it's dying. Yeah, it's yeah, dying, it's like, and it's and puts all this already dead. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, exactly, dude. Exactly. So I reckon we like get rid of all of this. Yeah. And switch it out for for this combination. Oh man, this is going to be beautiful. Yeah, I like this a lot. So we'll have a little bit of dying grass over here. Maybe stick another one in there like that. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, this is going to look cool. And oh, maybe, yeah. maybe we want to do like a bit of... Okay, so we got dying grass. We got like dead grass. And, and now, maybe what we want is like a bit of... Maybe what we want is like a little bit, oh, maybe a bit of gravel, maybe? Just oh, like yeah. a touch Why, of gravel? Why not try some coarse dirt, maybe? No, that, oh, that's a nice idea. Oh, yeah, that, 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 good. that could look really good. Let's have a look at a bit of coarse dirt, like right at the Hi, Jax. the entrance over here, right? Take that tool. Oh, thank you. In theory, that should be a replacement tool now. If you right-click with it, it should replace any block with Neverrack. If you want to switch it to a different block to replace with, Left click on it. No. It does no. <laughs> Wow. I think it only sets it for you, Mark. Alright, uh... Okay, wait, let me just enter the command then. That, no, that no. Would... Type... Slash slash... Yes? R-E-P-L... Wait, what? R-E-P-L, so like the first four letters of replace. Oh, yeah. And then... Dirt or something like that. Space, dirt. Dirt. And it should say bound to a dirt block. Yeah. Wait. Then... Yeah, yeah, it does. And then, and then I can set it like a radius. Uh, if you, if you just left click on a block like Neverack, it will change it to set to Neverack. Yeah, yeah, it did. Okay. And then, if you right click with it, it will place any block with whatever it's set to. Okay. Cool. In theory. Yeah, that 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 works. All that's right. going to that's going to be great. Thank you. Sorry, I had to look it up. <laughs> Okay, I was trying bedrock over there. That doesn't really work that nicely. Um, coarse dirt works, but it's kind of like, it's quite a weird color because it's kind of like a very dull brown, Gray, right? Grayish, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Maybe just normal, maybe we're just like overthinking it. Maybe just normal dirt works really well here because this is where the, mm, no, I don't like, I don't like that. Wait, wait, uh, let's try soul sand for a minute. Oh, um, yes, we haven't even tried soul sand yet. Yeah. Nice, nice. So this is kind of like the the grass has been um, corrupted, right? Yeah, it's, it's slowly turning. Like... It's even like oh, really beautiful. transitioning well, because this is like corrupted set of uh, grass. This is dying, and this is like just infected. It looks oh, really I mean, good. It's, it's beautiful, and like this this uh, soul sand grass is like uh, like thorny and disgusting. Yeah, it's like like thorns and and f from dead bushes. Beautiful. Love it, man. Looking absolutely oh, man. gorgeous. That's that's a great, great idea, Ren. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, one of the things that I really like about what Iskal does in his builds, and you guys got to see like a little bit of his magic uh, in, in action here, is his um, how he variates the blocks in builds. And he's very, very good at it. And what he does is uh, he doesn't just use the same block like 
for a, a build he, he just dashes in every now and then like <laughs> a, a different block just to like break up the the symmetry i mean he's a pro at it because that's just that that's his bag like that's what he does but he also does really interesting things like uh at this bridge that he built he's got like uh, these these leaves that hang from the bridge makes it look like like really thick vines um and it just kind of like brings the place to life right yeah so good man so good. like like overgrown jungle mm -hmm. things yeah so so good but uh mastermind you're doing a, a really good job with the road like it's it, it, you know you, you got. Th this is a th this is the this is a scalification right here man is what this is it's beautiful all right let's oh man i haven't been over here for a while oh kids dude you are rocking it up in here man look at this oh thank you baby very much. this bridge is looking beautiful man this is awesome yes but unfor unfortunately it's a magic bridge at the moment there's a uh, nothing supporting it <laughs> yeah this <laughs> there are some there are some serious physics fails going on over uh, here don't worry I'll, uh, I'll i'll get to that in a minute once i finish up uh Awesome. blocking off the outside world nice man nice i like what you done around the graveyard here i'm wondering what kind of foliage could we stick um around here on this mycelium or what or, or podsel can we put foliage on podsel no no you can't i don't think uh, you might be able to fish flowers but you can't grow any sort of uh, tall grass or anything what about sponges come have a look where you at man where you at kitch come have a look man Let's do a bit of experimenting um... over here, right? Because what what I what I'm thinking is like these banks, we probably need to we need to add something to them, right? In John Smith, like sponges yeah, looks pretty cool, right? Look at that. But I don't know what that's yeah, going to look like in vanilla, yeah. and it's kind of weird also that we got sponges here. Well, well let me take let me uh get back into vanilla texture pack. Take a look for you. I'm gonna try wet sponges also because it's slightly darker also. So check it out, and it's kind of. I suppose it doesn't really make sense, but <laughs> um, it's kind I don't of know, like in vanilla. They're they're kind of the same in vanilla, but they're just a little bit um, they're a little bit less epic looking, I guess you could say. Uh -huh, uh -huh, like a little bit more dull, right? And yeah, and like like, like yeah, it it just doesn't look um exactly like it should be there. It, okay. It's a little too bright in comparison to everything else, anyway. So yeah, let's get rid of that. I, I mean, we could put grass in here, right? I mean, I'm thinking, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Got some flowers going on. Are these flowers yeah. a little bit too yeah. happy for this area? Like, do you want to try and maybe find some, like, darker... Oh, look at this. I, at the, I don't this think guy. there's such a thing as um, An a dark flower. flower. Like, all, like, all flowers are supposed to be happy. Like, these dead bushes could work well. Yeah, dead bushes. Because they're good. dead, and there's there's a whole bunch of dead yews here, so dead bushes could work. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, a little bit of live bush action every now and then. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These dead bushes maybe, just gave uh, me an idea. Maybe oh. put a few cobwebs here and there, because, you know, the place is getting pretty old. No one ever really comes to visit them. So, I like that. I like you know, that. Put a few few webs everywhere. Oh. Like look a, at this, guys. being look, overrun look, by this a little is the flower that we want to see, guys. The blue orchid, man. Beautiful. Check it out. This is the this is the flower yeah. we want to use. Yeah, the saddest flower of them all. The saddest flower of them all, exactly. This is a sad place, man. This is where Ren Dog has died many, many times, <laughs> and uh, we need to we need to make it nice and sad. Uh, that's looking that's looking awesome. What happens if I just bone meal the Bajengo out of this place? What happens? Uh, we, oh, we can't bone uh, meal uh, it I don't because. Know. Uh, well, it's podsel, right? So, so we actually have to manually plant the. the grass yeah, you got to manually podsel. plant the grass. Cause I don't know why bone meal doesn't work on this, but it just it, it doesn't. It's weird. Mojang, please fix. Oh, um, Sky, uh, God, Sky, Skyline Godzilla has uh, suggested using soul sand here. I think that's a very nice suggestion too. Let's have a look, right? Because the soul sand looks a little bit like. Uh, a little bit like uh, brambles and, and whatnot. Oh, Iskal's back. <laughs> he couldn't resist. He wants. To, Iskal wanted to come in and scalify this place. <laughs> but that's looking good. That's looking good, man. Iskal, I like that. I like that. Uh huh. Oh, and all the shrooms. Beautiful touch. Okay, loving the shrooms. Looking good around here. 
Uh, let's have a look. Any any other block that could potentially fit in here? All of these flowers are way too happy for this place. Some melons, maybe. For like yeah, an interesting little melon. Touch. You know, it's like it's sort of a like the melons kind of add a bit of life to the area, other than the bushes. And it, actually, yeah, it does look kind of good there. It's kind of like but a, maybe not a lot of melons. A melon is kind of like a sad fruit, you know. Yeah, I think maybe uh maybe a jack o' lantern at some point, or just a regular pumpkin. Oh, it's got already all over it, man. <laughs> that looks that looks nice. <laughs> I mean, it's very colorful. It's it's very like uh, it's very colorful right now. Hmm. I mean, I mean, maybe we just need to like get grass all up in here, right? Just like go grass crazy, because the, the grass is like a, a slightly dull green next to the pots of color, so that might help break up the, the colors a little bit. It is it it is lush. <laughs> it certainly is. I mean, there's more life on this tiny little bank than in the, on the entire freaking island right now. Oh, uh, uh, should we add a second layer of iron fences on this? Because people can hop over the iron fence as it is, and they'll be able to get off the graveyard island and into the world. So should we add a second layer to that, or...? Um, wait, hang on, say again? Uh, the iron fences in the graveyard yard the uh the outskirts people can jump over oh them, yes yes yeah know, yeah because because one block high iron fences so it's, you can easily jump over yep we should definitely so fix i'm just wondering if you want if you want them to stay contained or if you want them to run around like free range chickens <laughs> we definitely want them contained i'm loving the cobwebs around here guys i'm definitely going to do this in my in survival world these look amazing Ooh, da -da. Oh, yeah, Kevin. Where's um, the graveyard? The funny thing is that we did all of this work on the back of this graveyard, but you'll never actually see it. <laughs> because... Important no... we know it's there. Exactly. There's no actually view of it. But there is, of course, the, the banks in the front, uh, which looks like I, you guys have already started uh, foliating, looking pretty uh, freaking sweet, I must say. Um, okay, that's looking beautiful, man. I'm loving the little graveyard. It's coming along really nicely. Um, Beatrice's courtyard, unfortunately, is still looking a little bit, well, that was supposed to be my job, but, um, I haven't got, quite got there yet. Mastermind, you're cracking on over here, man, you're doing some good work on the roads? Yeah, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting, like, a uh, that was viewing me, area actually. of Esco Brig over there. Which is <laughs> nice. Right, that was me. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> good job, my dog. <laughs> oh, so, oh, like a nice little bridge or something here, Mastermind. Like, oh, like a lookout. Like a lookout. Yeah, I'm going to put, like, a lookout, so... So they can see the yeah. his amazing build. That's beautiful. That's such a nice idea, actually. Why don't you make it even come out a little bit more? Like make I like a that, yeah. like a little because you know like what the bounce. thing is. Uh, uh, Big Mac's uh, pen over there is actually it doesn't really serve a purpose. It's it's yeah. just for for beautification, really. So yeah. if we did like a little like a little lookout tower over here, that could be pretty awesome, I think. Oh man, this corruption is looking absolutely beautiful. Hijax has taken over. It's yeah, taken yeah, over. yeah. What about a bit of? What do we think about a bit of lava? Because yeah, I know, but the problem with lava is, is uh, it's going to spread out and maybe come in the water, and I don't know if that is quite going to work out. And maybe people yeah. catch on fire, so I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. We could have some peeps like uh, running into Burn. the lava and yeah. dying. Yeah, that's that's probably a bad idea. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I don't know if that could be disabled, but I, it probably can. What do we think of the, the sand over here, right? I think we probably just get rid of the sand here, right? Yeah, yeah. Let me clear that up. There we go. Looking absolutely gorgeous, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving how the podsel and the mycelium are working with this particular build. I think it's yeah, really it looks good. it looks really great. I I think it's a very nice suggestion. It's, yeah, but I I'm just a little worried for people that might use uh, default texture packs, and it's gonna look really weird. 
Oh, really? Really? As in what? The podsol and the mycelium is going to look kind of strange. Yeah, together. yeah, because the podsol is brown, I believe, and mycelium is uh, grey. So I don't know exactly okay. how it's going to look. But you could, of course, put on uh, a texture pack for if people that wanted to try it for the server. I think that could work. But... Um, isn't there somebody here that's on uh, vanilla? Uh, yeah, I could just switch real quickly. Um... Yeah, I'm exactly what I've just done. I'm not on vanilla. And... Yeah, I switched. Alright, switch up. Uh, what does it look like when you switch um, up? It looks, yeah, well, kind of weird. But does it, look, does it look bad weird, or does it look like... Eh, uh, eh, uh, could go either Doesn't way. It, it, it looks, um, the brown kind of mixes with the netherrack, but it doesn't quite mix. Okay. So, gotta work on that a little bit. Maybe we just use soul sand, uh, instead of the podsil? Uh, we could. Yeah, that made, that, that did mix better, yeah. That might mix better in vanilla, right? Yeah. Okay, awesome. MD, this is looking sweet over here, dude. I'm wondering how... Hmm. This road is bugging me, right? Because the thing is... Check it it's out, just a placeholder for now. Really? No, no, no. Not, no, not this road. Uh, the road around the greenhouse. Because kind of oh, yeah. out, dude. Like, when you go through the greenhouse, if you go all the way through, you come out the other side, there's no road to go on? Yeah. Hmm. I get what you mean. Huh. Interesting. Uh... I'm thinking, like, maybe... I've got an idea. Red, how about road comes from there, goes down, along mm -hmm. here, round mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and onto Iskell's Bridge, perhaps? Ooh, that's a, that's a nice little connection, actually. That's pretty cool, I think. That's, that could work quite nice. And maybe it's just like... Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, yeah, there's a cavern under there. <laughs> I was tempted to put a sign in case we made it under here for it, how, somehow. There is a giant cavern down there. Uh, maybe we do. But it's got a cool like... waterfall. I like it. Something like this. Okay. Hmm. Man, is someone yeah, is someone munching is a crunchy ass snack? Or, or drinking a tasty ass beverage? I was. What are we? What? What? Are you, oh, dude, don't do this to me. What are you drinking? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Ice cold water. Oh God. Ice cold water. Ice cold water. Oh yeah, I put oh, it in the freezer. Nice. Man, nothing like a bit of H two O, man. Yeah, man. Oh, you froze it. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, dude, where where are you playing from? It, by the way. Uh, my room. Oop. No, I, I mean... Not, Whereabouts I in the world? I didn't need perfect that answer. Speci that's yeah. specific. <laughs> that's the perfect answer for all <laughs> questions. <laughs> which which country? Uh, I'm from the Netherlands, yeah. Oh, okay. Is it super hot there today? Uh, it's really hot, yeah, but it isn't as hot as it was two weeks ago. I was, like, dying. Okay, it was, like, yeah. tropical. Oh, it was so hot in England also, dude. My dog and I were absolutely melting. Uh, cool, it wasn't that bad. Oh, uh, well, London was insane. Well, that's awesome that you're from the Netherlands. That's my motherland, man. That's my motherland. Yeah, yeah, I was watching the, uh, the NVIDIA stream, and I couldn't open uh, your stream for some reason, so I started watching that one. And I noticed your last name was... Uh, can, can I say? No, no, no. no. no? okay. <laughs> I, I noticed it was a Dutch word. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> otherwise you get like people getting behind you and stuff and yeah, that, yeah. yeah. no but yeah I'm uh, I'm originally my I'm, I wasn't born in Holland but my father was uh, born in Holland so uh, he was like, tree. Mm -hmm. and um, my grandparents were moved to South Africa from Holland after World War Two oh uh, yeah that... they were like uh, damn this man I'm not staying in Europe this place is crazy. <laughs> We're going to go to the other side of the world, and hopefully it'll be a bit better there. So they went to South Africa. Um, but, I mean, you can see it by my face. I mean, I'm as Dutch as it gets. You know? i got a Dutch nose, i got a Dutch forehead, a Dutch beard. I mean, I'm as Dutch as they come. 
Unfortunately, I don't speak the language very well, but I speak Afrikaans, so I, I, you know, I can understand. Uh, I can understand Dutch. If I lived in Holland, I think I'd pick up the language super quick, maybe in like a year. Uh, possibly. I, I don't know. It, it the word, the saying, the the words, the how they speak it. It's just kind of difficult for for people to have uh, sounds you don't use in England and America, and I don't know. Where they speak English, mm -hmm. but I speak Afrikaans, right? Which is basically uh, basically which, the same. Yeah, which was a language that was cr created from Dutch. Yeah, you know? so it is Dutch basically, but just a very simple version of it. Yeah, yeah. It's like Dutch minus all the really complicated stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is cool. <laughs> But anyway, that's so awesome, man. So, so uh, let's actually let's let's let's. I'm very interested. Everybody is is playing from today. My dog, you're playing from Cornwall in England, right? Uh, well, yeah. Not so sure about the England, but part, but apart from that, okay. yeah, definitely Cornwall. Definitely Cornwall. Okay. <laughs> Did it move? <laughs> no, it, uh, it's a long story. You don't really want me to get into it. Okay. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Basically, there's, it's. Cornwall now has minority status, which means it's not really the Cornish aren't really English. They're the same as Welsh, Scottish, Irish, etc. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that that happened. That's really awesome. There. Okay, Officially awesome. not English. Okay, so Cornish then. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> I or told you you didn't want me to go into it. <laughs> um, Kidge, where are you playing from? Um, I would rather not say. Okay, that's fine. Not a problem. All right, I you know what, guys? I'm not even going to ask you guys. Kill the hype. It's okay. We're, we're uh, of course, we're all playing from, from all over the world, which is awesome. CIA confirmed. <laughs> uh, excuse you, Illuminati. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Same I, I, forgot, thing. I forgot that we were streaming. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. But it's really cool to have uh, all these people from all over the place, man. It's really cool, right? Floating leaf block. The power of the internet, power of the modern world, guys. That we can all come together like this on a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday afternoon and play Minecraft together. It's amazing. The middle of summer and sit inside at the computer. Humanity, man. <laughs> Some parts of humanity are awesome. Except when jungle trees don't grow, then I get angry with humanity. Oh God! Grow, you damn tree! Look. Where are you? Bone meal didn't work, did it? No. Ren, where are you? Grow! Oh, where are you? should work if you spam it hard enough. I'm, uh, I'm next to... I'm, like, just outside the, the Cyberdog Monument, try, like, on, okay. on the bridge that goes to the uh, graveyard area. Why is this... What in the... Grow, you damn tree! Oh, man. That is so annoying. Is there something that might be blocking the tree's growth? Yeah. Ah, no, uh, you're over there. Good. I'm just gonna spam it. What's wrong? Justy1220 says oh. Illuminati confirmed. Damn it. <laughs> Hello, Trend Walker. Welcome to the stream. Pogivel555. I hope you're enjoying the stream. Thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, Liz confirms it is Wednesday. I almost got that one wrong. That would have been embarrassing. Um, and Yengus, hello, welcome to the stream. Hope you are enjoying it. Super Taco Boy, or what is cracking? Trying to get this freaking jungle tree to grow, but for some reason, it Ren, will not. I'm trying to out. fix it for you. Stop. Where is it? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go over here then. Make some more trees that actually. There you are. Okay. <laughs> I don't oh, there we go. Any any the, the I cheat, oh, but that is a big okay. jungle tree as well. Going. Wow, that is a beast. That is a beastly jungle tree over there. Jeez. Where do you want the next one? Well, I, maybe you could do some of that awesome... Or who was doing it? Madigans, you were doing some crazy foliage action at uh, somewhere. Over here? I saw. Do we want to at get the that same... At the back of the uh, departments. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah we, I'll do we put want to that do that same here. foliage action in this like little beautiful section that we're working on over here? Yeah. <laughs> what is on the, in the background of Matty's? <laughs> What? The background oh, the TV, is sorry. Is... <laughs> uh, TV is shows. <laughs> yeah, it's TV. Sounds like Neighbours right. or something. Are you watching Neighbours? No, I'm not watching Neighbours. <laughs> Neighbours was the boss back back in the day. 
what back in the no back in it never Kylie's was day. I'm sorry oh uh, is it just me or is Kylie still super hot uh, I mean she will always be hot always uh, she's in her forties now and she's smoking yeah she is pretty smoking man it's it's unfair it's unfair oh yeah that's what I was gonna do I was gonna get rid of that. So, Kidge, what you been cracking on with over here, man? The bridge. Uh, I've side. been... Oh, the bridge? Yeah, uh, I'm still working on that. I kind of got sidetracked because of the graveyard. I'm Right now, I'm just trying to, like, in graveyard terms, I'm trying to uh, find out where people can jump out by just parkouring all over the place. Oh, nice. So, you're, like, you're troubleshooting, because, like, like the... yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, cause, like, you know, people can jump on top of these iron fences, and they'll get up here, they'll jump on the graves, and then they'll eventually just pop right out. So I'm just trying to make sure people can oh, that's do that. True. Oh, look at this. I'm, I'm, I'm parkouring it also. Oh, man, yeah, you can actually get out of yes, here, right? Yes, dude, I mean, because, like, yeah, because, like, right about here, I think, this used, these parts used to be, like, two blocks lower, roughly. Yeah. So people could easily just somehow get on top of this and pop right over. So Ooh. I'm just I'm you know what I'm thinking, thing though? for you. You know what I'm thinking, guys? I'm thinking, like... I don't know how I feel about the super high fences. I think it looks a little bit too like jail like. So maybe what we need to do instead of having the, the fences like this, if we take the fences back to being too low, right? Like this. Mm -hmm. And maybe what we do is we, we add a fence around the, um, the circumference rather, right? Okay. The island. Oh, yeah, because then, then, then people. Isn't there the invisible block here. we can use? The barrier block. block? Matthew, the barrier block. Uh, yeah, there, is, there is are it? invisible locks you could use. I think, um, I don't know if that requires MC it, edit, though. Unless I'm, mistaken, I, unless I'm mistaken, requires MC edit to get invisible blocks. They added it into it the Minecraft. Work with... No, um, I tried getting the block using the gift command, but I couldn't uh -oh. get it for some reason. Uh, yeah. I broke a grave, friend dog. I'm, oh. I'm so sorry. You. We will never know what this grave was until you check it. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> which, which one did you it's, break? It's, it was this one right here. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. Someone Who in even stream, hired you? Does someone in stream know what this grave was? <laughs> this is the diamond uh, grave. It, it was, um, it was Mastermind who hired me. So you could blame Mastermind. <laughs> what? <laughs> I okay. People. okay, guys. We've got a task for the people on the stream. Guys, we need to find out what this grave was, okay? We need your help right now, people. I need to know what the exact words are for this diamond grave over here. I believe that it's something like R.I.P. Rendog who died like a noob. Uh, well, there's oh, got to be R.I.P. Rendog. Yeah. That's, that's an iron, iron grave. grave. That's oh, iron, oh, oh. not diamond. Oh, it's an iron grave who died like a Learn noob. Learn your blocks. Oh, that's my bad. It looks like a diamond, okay? Uh, when did I die getting iron or doing something with iron? I can't remember. Um, building the Cyberdog Monument says J is Diamond123. Someone's got to know this, man. Someone's got to know this. I think it might be building the monument. Is there another one for build? No, no, no. This is building the I Cyberdog think, Monument here. Uh, um, did, did you upload the live stream where you first took us through the server? Because if you did, then we can just check through there. Oh, that's a good point. Um, no, I I didn't upload it to YouTube, but it should be on VOD. It should still be on, on VOD. All right. well, well, yeah, yeah, because you, you gave us a full tour of the graveyard there, so if you just check that, Monument. then we'll be able to figure it out real quick. All right, I need to Falling into put lava while my bridge. It's, it's says the source of the Nile. taking too much OCD out of me. Wasn't it from the strip mine outpost? Says Windcraft Pro. Sky Autumn uh, asks, "What season?" Oh yes, this is season three, isn't it? This is season one. Yeah, I, th I think that's season, season no, two. That's season one. Yeah. No, this is uh, this is the season three graveyard. Yeah, yeah, season three graveyard. Because I remember you had to make the extension from season two because you didn't yep. want to go that way. Mhm, mm mhm, mm exactly. It might have been from the strip mine outpost. No, no, no. It's season three. This is going to be from like something to do with with Mole City, maybe. Uh, no, we, what did we do in season three? We did the Cyber Dog Monument. No, you know, because you didn't use any iron for the Cyber Dog Monument, and I don't think you would have made an iron grave for that. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. We must have died on an adventure to get iron or something like that, right? Well, wasn't um wasn't 
about half of season three also on Silkrum Island, because I mean, I don't know if you put any Silkrum Gang Island uh, graves in here, but that could also be what it is. It could be uh, maybe an Iron Man adventure from Silkrum Gang Island. Maybe. Yep, yep, yep. That's, um... It's weird that I would have used iron for, um... For the Silicon Gang Island, though, right? Hmm. Yeah, I guess, but... Uh, I, I well, really I'm waiting for sure. someone in stream um, to help us out, man. You, If you can solve this problem, okay, you are gonna be... You're gonna go down in history as the person who fixed the broken grave. Here's your chance, man. Here's <laughs> They are too lazy, says Skyline Godzilla. That's probably true. People just chill it out. All right, you know what? I, well, I'm gonna see if I can find it myself. These people are just I don't know. Oh, it looks like Liz is looking. Looks Liz is trying to figure it out. Ren, does this path work for you? Hold on, give me one second. I'll carry your. It's looking um, kind of janky. Wait, uh, wait, wait. To the. Uh, to, uh... It works as a path, it's just how it what looks. Uh, the path from Mama Dogs to the thingy. The bridge. From the bridge uh, to the... Uh, it works, yeah. it it works, works okay. as a path. It's a bit... I, you know what, I think it's I think it's too artificial. I think yeah, like it's, maybe from this I'm point... I'm just trying to get the layout. Uh, I think, the, I think the, um, the, the snaking of it is perfect. I reckon like this part of it should be natural. Maybe, like maybe the... The concrete ends like here, and then it becomes natural. You know, like as if the path oh, that really? come onto the beach. Uh, so you know, people come down to sunbathe or whatever. <laughs> Why don't we like put sandstone in the path? Oh, there we go. Liz, Liz got it. I knew, I knew it. I knew it. Good was old about, Liz. Um, I knew it was about getting iron. R.I.P. Rendog, uh, you died uh, like almost... a noob hunting for urn. Yes, yes, yes. Now I remember almost Liz. Almost found it too. You are a legend. Thank you, Liz. I love you, man. R I man. E Rendog. Someone say my name. Who died like a noob hunting. Hunting for urn. Three three R's in that. Mm -hmm. There we go. Damage undone. Well done, Liz. Thank you so much for helping us out. Thanks, uh, thanks so to everybody else who also sorry. helped help us out. Thank you so much. Uh, Okay, so where were we? Oh, we were talking about trying to find a way to make uh, the graveyard co uh, contained, right? That's what we're talking yeah. about here. So here's what I'm thinking. Actually, this is this is a, a pretty sneaky way for us to show our beautiful work with the um, this little bank that we made, right? Because potentially yes, what we could definitely. do... definitely. Hmm. Maybe what we want to do is... Oh, I have an idea. If we make this path go all the way around the graveyard. Hang on. Oh no, this is going to be really tricky though. Because if we can get onto these pillars, oh man. Yeah, this yeah is you can easily get onto the pillars yeah. and then jump right on over the fences. So unless we put barrier blocks on the outside, then, um, then we have to make them prisoners in the graveyard. Yeah, we definitely don't want to do that. I think we're probably going to have to use barrier blocks unless... Yeah, I mean, unless we could put a little, um, like, I, I, we could extend either the graveyard pathway or the road that's going to the graveyard. We could kind of put some, um, branches that go around that and then have them kind of make a little walkway around the graveyard. So that what way we just, um, use what, what regular happens fences if people and being... stone walls and then people can just walk around. What happens if people bring ender pearls to the graveyard? They can uh, teleport themselves they out won't. anyway. No, they won't be. They won't be able to. So yeah, this no, is this gonna is just the a hub. You can't bring the. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the server hub, right? So when you join this server, you will have no yeah. items or inventory, right? And you can only get access to your items when you go to whatever what, server you, what you want to play on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to worry about that. But what we do have to worry about is them jumping out of the world. It's so, and I reckon maybe the easiest way to solve this problem uh, is to extend this roadway, this wooden roadway, which is looking beautiful, by the way, uh, Vicmans. I love how, like, uh, as you walk through the roadway, you walk past the little, uh, like, lanterns and stuff. It's really, really nice here, man. It's beautiful. But I'm thinking... Even though the trees are now partially dead because of the lanterns, they're just sticking right out of it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But check it out, right? Like, perhaps we could extend the roadway 
all the way around the circumference of the graveyard. Mm -hmm. And then we probably have to make the roadway three thick. And then we, you know, all we have to do is ensure that from on top of the fences, you're not able to jump up onto the onto leaves. So in this uh, case over here, we would heighten, like, or just exactly, just like take away that level of leaves like that. Yeah, this tree has to go a little bit in order to we'll move the tree grow three thick. Mm -hmm. And so then when people jump or try to jump from off the edge of the uh, graveyards, they'll just land on this pathway, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So like, we're going to have to go through here, right? Basically. And we'll replant this tree again, but we're going to have to like come all the way up and around. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. you wanted to go. Oh, okay, I thought you wanted to go around the island itself. Oh no 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 no. So I'm I'm thinking about like we go around the circumference of the graveyard, just like this wooden pathway follows the circumference of the graveyard. We just extend that uh, all the way around the graveyard itself. So oh, over okay. here at the okay. front of the graveyard, the the bad, path is actually bad. three thick. Mm -hmm. So we should do the same on this side of things, right? So this path needs to be three thick. Then anybody who tries to jump over the path from on top of the wall or on top of the fences is not going to be able to to do that well we have to ensure that they can't jump onto the trees though um feels like currently they can jump onto, onto can they get onto this one if we do a double jump uh, let's try uh which one let me see so from here oh this tree yeah i, th I think you there. can actually because no? yeah because look like look, look this is what you could do you could do it from here boop boop and you're on the tree oh hang on how, how in the jazz would you do that Jeez. <laughs> You don't even have to start from the, you start from the fence, you can really just walk over here and sprint really onto this block here. I mean, it's, it's a little bit precise. Yeah, it's a little bit precise, but it, it can be done. Oh, and that was yeah. a good, yeah, there we go, that was a good one. That's, that was good. That's, you know that's what we could do, guys? But there's also a few other blocks we could probably jump on. Hang on, hang on, I got a plan. I got a plan. Um... Maybe we use some fences. Something like this. Why don't we try some dark oak wood fence action? Something like this. Oh, you see, the thing is, I really don't like... Um, I, I really like the open spaces. Mm -hmm. I really don't... I, I don't want to raise the bars here because it just... It feels too much like a prison rather than a graveyard. So, you know what we could do, actually? Now that we're making the path impassable, we can lower the height of the fences by another one, right? Because now we don't care if they jump over the fences, right? Yeah, that way they yeah, can't get on the trees either. First. They're lower. Exactly, exactly. Now they won't be able to get onto the trees. They won't be able to jump onto the pillars to get onto the trees. So there we go, guys. We, <laughs> we, yeah, we did it. So. We solved it in the end. The funny thing is that we've gone completely full circle, right? <laughs> We've gone from raising all of the bars to like five to raising them down to two to now basically just getting rid of them completely, taking them down to two to one again. Yeah, now we've just got to add leaves and fences to make sure people can't jump out. Mm -hmm. Man, this graveyard uh, project is actually really big, isn't it? It's, it's much bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, big. definitely. I think because oh, man, the way there's that so I've, many places you could jump. The way that I built it in my survival world, because it's kind of in the middle of. The, like that jungle, you know, it's like in the middle of a, a dense jungle. Um, there's no like infrastructure around it, so it's kind of like a a very raw build, I suppose, if you know what I mean. I don't know if that makes any sense. Makes sense in my brain. Kind of sort of like it's just not um not a very large and um, complex build, right? Exactly. Is that what you mean? Exactly. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay. It's, it's like a pretty simple, straightforward build, but. You know, like in Mole City, right? I have to think about the villages. Mm -hmm. So when I've designed Mole City, I'm thinking in my mind, I, I've got to make the city so that other villages can't, that the villagers can't escape it. Which is a, kind of exactly the same thing that we're trying to achieve here, right? The people on the server are basically our villagers, and we're trying to ensure that they can't <laughs> escape the world, right? So, it's, so <laughs> it, in a way, the way that I designed Mole City was perfect for a server because I designed it to trap villagers. Uh, which I think is quite funny. <laughs> Alright, let's get rid of this ugly-ass fence, though. 
What fence were we using here, guys? Just uh, some, some, That's some straight-up That's the fence we were using. Fence, we, were using right? we were using the oak fence, yeah. Okay. Breaks the fence and equally places it back. <laughs> Alright, hang on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. This part huh? is not thick enough. Oh, right, right, right. Got to make it three thick, right? So even if people go up here... See, because check, in this position over here, Kitch, uh, someone can... <laughs> Oh. No, no, you can't. You can't. But you, you can't be able to. Jump you can't there, get yeah. on top of the leaves. You can't get on top of the leaves, and you can't. Uh, you can't glitch through them. I've already tried multiple times. Okay. Like unless there was a block, maybe right about here, that you'd be able to jump onto, mm -hmm. so you can get a little bit of a running start. Then that could be the case. But since there isn't one there, then they're unable to get on top of these leaves. I mean, we could wall it off if you wanted to just for um i don't think purposes, it matters really that much that, you can't really get on top of it yeah that's okay as, as long as people can't get out of it it's fine i mean no, yeah, no, we'll that's why the I'm, I'm, anyway. I'm your uh, i'm your parkour tester for uh, getting exactly, out of places exactly. and and we're going to have a dome also right but um the problem you know we don't want people because people are, are going to try and get out right that's just what people yeah do service. they try and get out um and we don't want people getting like even though there will be a dome, people will be trying to get out. So I think it's, it, you know, I think All it's okay to just make sure that they, they that they can't. And then they'll stop trying. Yeah, and here's, here's something, actually. Uh, from up here, you can actually get on top of this part, and then you'll be able to jump on top of the fences here, which means you'll be able to get out by walking onto this block. So yeah. there's one thing. Mm -hmm. We might need to we might need to flatten out this, this, this mound then, I'm thinking. Uh, by flat, you mean like um, flatten it out so it's raised up to like right about where the soul sand is, or down to where the wooden level is? Because hmm. if it's down to where the the wooden walkway is, people will just be able to walk right over the fence. Yeah, that's true. So uh... really, we should just try and make um make the mound as tall as possible on uh, this side, and maybe we then... do something nice on this side, right? Maybe we make it like a little check it out. Maybe we make it like a, a wall. You know how I did over here, right? Uh, in the in the season three graveyard with these little little things, these little fence thingies. Yeah. So maybe what we do is we make this like a, a cobblestone wall because it's holding it's holding back the sand behind it, right, from falling into the road. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we do something then just like place this. iron bars in there at random, like, yeah, like yeah, a little yeah. iron bar. And then a, and a little there. bit of like redstone lamp huh. action to get a bit of light in there. That could work pretty nice. Right. Ooh, that's a nice idea. Yeah, we can yes. And now, this is a, a natural barrier. We probably don't even now. We don't need to put the fences in, right? Because we've got a nice little natural natural barrier going on over here. Looking really uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. We uh, that, yeah, because then we don't have the fences there, and we won't be able to get out. But um, actually, I could just lower the leaves here. Yeah, I'll have to load the leaves. Yeah, so around this corner, we've got this nice little wall thing going on. I think that's pretty cool. It fits in with the theme quite nicely. Um, and when you're walking around here, you know, you see, you'll see those cool little iron bar fence things that you guys have installed. I think that looks really rad. That looks really cool. Now, there's absolutely no ways that anybody's going to hop over here. Mm -hmm. Yep, impossible. Can't do it from there. Do you want to put skeletons in there? Oh, that's a cool idea. How, how do we get skeletons in there? That's a cool idea. I'll oh, as do an, the as an, NPC as an, as like skeletons. <laughs> that's a very cool idea. I like that. Yeah. Oh, you. Let's, uh, let's make a little uh, skeleton cave gotcha. here, I guess, in this little mound we got. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a cool idea. Uh, what's happening over there, Vickmans? I hear you sighing, dude. Are you alright? I'm uh, just stretching. Uh, okay. <laughs> just making sure that my builders are still happy, man. Um, I think, oh, we got some floating trees now here, don't we? Uh-oh. I don't want to get rid of them, though. They're so beautiful. Right, we're going to have to move these stuff. Why don't you just build them down? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think we'll build them on the other side of the wall here. But when we, when we made this path, we had to sort of cut through them, unfortunately. They are beautiful trees, though, but we're going to have to move them. So that one's gotten rid of. Looking good. 
Right, let's go over to the stream and say hello to some people. If you haven't said hello just yet, hit me up, guys, in the stream chat so I can say hello to you. I see there's loads of you guys still there. Uh, very happy that you stayed with us for so long, man. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, it looks like... No, this, this path ain't uh, thick enough, guys. This path ain't thick enough. It's going to have to be three thick. I've already said hello to Rita, I'm pretty sure. Jay is done. Oh, well, apparently I, I can't put skeletons in. Oh, you can't put skeletons in? Oh, right. Yeah, because oh, yeah, yeah, the, on peaceful the world is not spawnable, so yeah, I can't put a skeleton in. Yeah, the world's peaceful mode. Hello, Field the so Owl. We'll nice have to, to make see them, you maybe. in the stream. Or just put, just like, heads or something. Good to see you, Saron J4. Skyline Godzilla. What is cracking my brain? The Great Rodinsky. Rodinkian. Wait. The Great yeah, Rodinsky. The <laughs> the Wait, does anyone know how I can get a, um... Does anyone know how I can get a player head? Is there a command for that? Um... Yes. <laughs> I don't know it, but yes, there is. Uh, that's a good what, idea. What kind of player heads? Does anyone know the command? Because I kind of want to place uh, some some. Are you gonna put my head in there? Around here. Are you gonna put my head? Yeah, on I want. I, I want to put. I want. I want to put some. I want to put some of your heads around here a little bit, just to kind of emphasize. Uh, we should put all the players up somewhere. That's a really cool idea. Yeah, we Let's we get up. every. Isn't it? Just a... I, I can try. Red Dog just doesn't want to have his head put one head on each of the major graves. Like, uh, like, not this minor grave over here, like, um, placing ladders, we don't need one on that, but, like, one for, uh, death from the giant lava ball, we could put one on, put a head on top of that. I really like the idea entrance. of getting all of your heads into this graveyard somehow. <laughs> That's uh, a really cool we'd idea. Have to, we, we would have to die, though. We'd have to die somehow. Oh, I'm sure we can arrange that. Like, maybe... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to do a command. Please no slash dead. <sighs> Guys, like, like, I can like... spawn an NPC with your skin. Or do you just want the head? Maybe we stick your heads like on this back wall here or something, or we set up like a little... What are you thinking? You're thinking about putting the heads um, on the graves? Well, like, well, like just for your head specifically right now, I'm thinking like all the major graves like here come over here like this um the loft wall grave here we'd, st okay. we'd stick your head like right there okay, no, th th but then for, like totally all, the, cool. all the minor yeah but then for like all the minor graves like placing ladders you know no yeah no yeah, one yeah. cares about the head there no that's so, really awesome but i want to get your guys really heads in much. here right i want to get your guys heads in here so yeah. maybe this wall maybe this, this wall feels yeah, like a nice could, place like like the... yeah but we could uh carve out a little room in here like this kind of like we did over here and then just place the heads on the wall maybe Oh, I like that. I like. I love that. Like the builders, um, yeah. the server builders crematorium or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because we all tragically die in the end. Exactly. Spoiler alert. God. That's an awesome idea, guys. That's He's planning awesome to kill us. Oh God. <laughs> not again. A builder apocalypse is not. Diablo has infected your mind. I'm telling you, man. I'm I'm looking into who, it's Vickman's eyes, man, and I I can already. I have friend's head. Oh uh, what? Put my head down. Where did you want him, or who wanted it? Yes, please put the head somewhere so I can pick it up. Hey, Just put stop! It stop playing with my head. Grid. Stop playing with my head, you weirdos. No. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Just for the. You playing keep I... away with Ren's head. <laughs> Look what they're doing. Oh, that. Just that. Is... that. That is wrong. That is, I'm freaking out right now, man. I'm freaking out. Get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> You're on the for opposite me, side me, of score. For me, the head doesn't actually look like you. For me, the head, um, it doesn't have your face on it. It just has the um, the standard John Smith uh, skin <laughs> on it, which That's is hilarious. Where's the head? Let me show me. Show me the head. That's hilarious. It's over here by uh, by John. Oh yeah, I see it. Everyone, everyone, grab a head and let's all get together for a photo shoot with Rendell. <laughs> <laughs> and oh actually, actually, Rendell, uh, you, you, you should you should wear head. your own head. Wear your own head. It will be. Uh, I think it'll be just do um, Steve. I, I'm happy to wear my own head. I'm not sure how comfortable I am about wearing my own head, but sure. Well, you, you'll definitely look a little bit different. Yeah, could you see? It looks like the standard Steve. It's like Red Dog. Yeah, that's really. Yeah, cool. yeah. I don't um, understand why. Yo, if you I try to pick, like happening. he has the standard Steve. Well, well if you, Did you take a, a head, um, 
uh, with the metal mouse button, yeah, that, that doesn't oh, work. Yeah. Yeah. You actually have to put in the command. Okay. Yeah, I have to do the command because otherwise, yeah, it just I'll drop over a standard Steve. I'll, I'll drop it. Yeah. Yeah. There you Much go. Thank you. Okay, this is creeping me out a bit. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, Anabas. guys, you guys are gonna all, you guys all got to put the Ren dog head on. Okay. If you can. I didn't get it. Oh wait, 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 my dog, come here. I'll put the one. damn head on, and we're gonna take a picture got one? for Twitter, because this is this I is hilarious. Cry. And you would you guys stop on? putting my head on the ground? I mean, you know. No, I didn't get that one either. Ren dog got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, what? Oh, I've got I've got, got, got the it. head in my hand. Oh, okay, Vic, you, you go. got the you got the John Smith here. Uh, I'm gonna hold my head. Uh, on the ground. Get sixty-four pass. of him. I'm gonna hold my head in the picture. Yeah, it's a sixty-four mm. random heads, all in a row. Okay, so <laughs> get behind me, you crazy ass bastards! Ooh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna what, is, what is wrong with you guys, man? You guys are crazy. Um, okay, looking awesome. Hang on, who's at the back, Kitch? You need. You yeah, need... I'm trying, but Matt is in my way. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Move slightly. <laughs> This is just, uh, this is creeping me out. Okay, F2 this, F2, boom! <laughs> well, we got a th thumbnail for the stream. I'm not even in there. Yes. Oh, thumbnail guys, that's for days. Awesome. That's awesome. All right. I feel, I feel slightly dirty, but hey. Okay. I'm I've not got... even in the picture. I'm okay. going to keep this hat forever, never, never. Who wasn't in the picture? Me. My, Why? my Where, Minecraft is not responding. Oh. Okay, we're going to have to do it again then. Oh, that's, that's no problem. We get to wear your head a little bit longer. Hey, I'm not taking it off. Yeah, let's, let's just keep these on for the rest of the stream. Why not? <laughs> How does it feel to wear someone else's skin? Come in. <laughs> really oh, I do it all the time, so it's it's nothing new to me. Oh man, dude, that's uh, that's that's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, is everyone here now? Yeah. I'm gonna have to restart my computer quick. Oh god damn it, I haven't switched off sticky keys on this one yet! <laughs> oh, you're restarting your computer, are you? Okay. No yeah, problems. I'll be on just a few minutes, hopefully. Okay. Oh, go away! Wait, I think I should go god down. damn sticky keys! Yeah, yeah, go down the level. There we go. It's. The heads look really big on you guys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah totally. they act like the, 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 the heads are always bigger than a player. Like if you if you rapidly put your head on and off, it'll look like your head's kind of just growing and shrinking. It's kind of funny, actually. Yeah, it's like it's like you guys have, have I don't know been your heads have been blown up by like a helium balloon or something. No, uh, it's just the virus, the red dog virus. And when I say your heads, I mean I mean my heads. <laughs> hey Rafe Butler, welcome to the stream. Ike Powell, what's going on? Some new people have joined the stream, guys, and they must just be thinking, what oh, is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Kaya, welcome to the stream. I hope you're enjoying it. Guys, if you're wondering what's going on right now, it's difficult to explain because it's it's kind of creepy. The builders, the Cyberdog builders have decided that they're all gonna wear my head. And we're going to take a, a photo for Twitter. Uh, so that's what's going on here. We're waiting for one more builder to come and join us. Uh, it's kind of creeping me out. i got to say, man, we got some inception happening up in here, man. It's freaking me out. Let me just have a look at... <clears throat> it, it, yeah, okay, there we go. Just checking on the stream. Every now and then, if, when you've been streaming for a long time, Twitch decides sometimes to just drop the stream for some reason. I don't know if it's because I'm not a partner or whatever, but uh, just got to make sure everything is cool. It looks like we got a lot of confused people in the stream, guys. <laughs> Rafe Butler is like, I'm confused right now. <laughs> We're like dead <laughs> Ren dogs. Don't be confused. We're like Never zombie confused. Ren dogs. Just, just accept your fate. Accept it all. They're all. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Welcome to the stream, Adam2. I see you've just joined us also, which is awesome. Who else has just joined us? Strife, good to see you, buddy. Nice to see you in the stream. Thanks for all of the support at the GTX Challenge, my friend. It was really awesome having you in the background and you you were watching the whole thing it was sweet james carter 090909 what's going on welcome to the stream <laughs> yeah minecraft says this is hilarious Boop. yeah <laughs> what, what are these guys doing they're, they're, they're crazy they're crazy man you know you people say that i'm crazy 
I'm normal compared to this lot. I mean, look at them. These, these <laughs> people are absolutely <laughs> mental right now, man. They're going crazy. Hey, I don't know what you're on about. I'm completely normal. I may this or may not have my own behavior. head in my hand right now. And I do. It's kind of creepy. Okay, is that everyone? Have we got everyone now? I'm just, just ran in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know why Randox stole my clothes. Um, are we are we still missing someone? Yeah, we're missing Mastermind, right? I'll be honest, a few minutes and okay, we're, we're back up now. Mastermind's Yo, coming. He's a coming. He's I just realized, Vicman's is kind of just like a Ren dog, but in casual wear. <laughs> like a casual. Like just, a, like just a casual Friday. <laughs> There's Vicman's. <laughs> 